I think it's time to get started. Guys, give us a big all capitals yes in the chat if you're ready to get the show on the road. If you're ready to start this live Benzinga Trading School workshop. If you are ready to learn some very simple foundational strategy that's going to be 90 cents on your dollar. I'm telling you. The basics that you're going to learn here today are going to get you a lot further than getting all funky, funkadelic with a bunch of stuff that you'll find scrape around on the internet on your own. Trust me. So give me a big yes in chat if you're ready for some of that. Give me a big yes if you're ready to put together a plan for the coming week. So that is kind of like, you don't have to think as much. You know, if X happens, execute trade. If X doesn't happen, don't execute. Move on to the next thing because we covered it on Sunday with Mark, Neil, and Rodrigo from the Benzinga Trading School. Give me a big capital yes. Just, you know what? Just hit all caps and do all caps for the rest of the session. I want all caps in the chat. Makes it easier for me to read. I don't have my contacts today. I haven't been to the eye doctor in a long time. April, loud and clear. That is what I like to see. Yes. 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 Fantastic. Um, ah, Jennifer, I know exactly what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. But really, even if it takes writing down step one, two, three, four, and going through the motions, be a robot. <laughs> We're going to teach you how to how to master your own psychology, your situation. And then what you need to do to execute on things. Risk is always involved. But that's why we put things in that list to mitigate that risk. All right. So, Jennifer, I feel you. Tony, yes. Mr. Halcombe, always a pleasure to see you. Christopher, let's go. Yes, we're all the all capitals, guys. Let's rock. Yes, yes, yes. Neil, where are your luxurious locks? I'm trying something new. I'm trying something, all right? Yes, yes, yes. All right, all right, all right, guys. I think we're ready to go. I think you guys you guys have shown that you're ready to go. Uh, Mark, can you give me the universal sign of, of yes by taking your thumb and pointing it up? Backstage, let me know if you're ready. There it is. All right, Mark's giving me the thumbs up. Hola. Yes, 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 yes. Um, all right. Mark, what's going on, my friend? Yeah, you know, surviving. I'm up here in Connecticut, so we had this hurricane, um, which where I am seems like kind of a dud. It's not even raining out. Um, but, uh, I guess it was up farther up the line. I'm on the Southwestern side of Connecticut and I guess it hit the Southeastern side of Connecticut. So I'm still here and I want a Benzinga shirt. Um, so maybe we got like one, of these? Just one of those out to me this week. Like one of these. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I'm glad to hear that you are safe and, and, and relatively sound. Uh, Mark is, is really good to know that. Um, for the, the uninitiated, would you mind telling folks about, a little bit about who you are and your background, please? Yeah, sure. Um, so I was an institutional trader for about 20 years. And when I say institutional, I mean, I was trading for big companies that managed a lot of money, um, you know, in, in excess of billions of dollars. Um, I've My first kind of real trading job was um, working for Mario Gabelli. Uh, he hired me when I was in business school, and I spent about two years learning from him. Um, and he is a, one of the most intelligent people I've ever met, and it was a great experience there. Then I had a chance to go over to trade on the buy side um, or in a hedge fund with uh, Steve Cohen over at SAC. So I took that. Um, you know, of course, I'm running through 20 years here in about two minutes. So I spent some time at SAC. Then I had an offer to be the head of trading at a big hedge fund and institutional money management group down in the city. Uh, so I did that. And then just to make a long story short, I went from one of those firms to another firm to a third. Um, so I was the head trader at three different funds. Um, the first one was in the city and there was this like East Coast, West Coast war between the partners and the West Coast won. So they closed the New York office and I just didn't want to move to California at the time because my kids were really young and so forth. 
Um, second place I worked at, which um, happens to a lot of these hedge funds, is they have a strategy that works for a while, then it stops working and all the clients take their money out and they end up shutting that, the fund down. So that pre that's pretty much what happened to me. Um, at that point, I said to myself about five years ago, you know, I really want to get out of this cutthroat, brutal industry that's high stress. Mm -hmm. And I want to be able to use my skills to teach people, um, you know, because there's a lot of misinformation out there. There's a lot of downright lying out there. Um, so after, you know, a little uh, stop here and a stop there, I landed at Benzinga and I'm very happy and I'm happy uh, to be able to help teach people that really want to learn what to do and not just be told what to do. Um, so that's kind of my background. And now when it comes to trading, it really doesn't need to be as complicated as people think it has to be. If you just focus on certain things, um, certain things that are important, like Neil mentioned, um, like the uh, fundamentals or whatever. So that would include which levels are important, you know, support and supply and, uh, you know, support and resistance levels, which trends are underway, what the momentum is driving them. Mm -hmm. um, just by knowing these things, you can build a successful trading strategy. You can use it and it can apply to any kind of a strategy. You can use it for day trading. You can use it for cryptos. If you're a, if you're a, you know, a long only buy and hold investor, it could help you with target placements. In other words, where to buy something, where to sell something. Like for instance, you might want to buy stock XYZ and you say to yourself, if XYZ gets to $10, I'm going to buy it because I think it's worth $20. Well, XYZ might get to $11 and it might end up being a support level. And then XYZ goes to $20. So you were right about the move, but you missed the stock because you didn't know where there was support. So some of this might sound a little bit technical, um, but it can be used for any style. And like I said, including the, the people that are long only and hold on for a long time. Good. All right. So let's get this, this thing moving here. I think we've got a lot of not only tickers, um, but also uh, uh, questions in chat. So guys, Mark, if you, if you could too, um, let's do a little bit of an overall market overview while answering the questions. Um, okay. That way we can sort of have a nice back and forth. And guys, we're going to scroll up through uh, uh, the previous chat because I asked a lot of you to ask some questions earlier on. So first come, first serve on the questions. Um, so let's just go through this a little bit. Lots of yeses. Thank you guys for the yeses. Um, and if you guys have more questions, drop them in because it looks like I might have lost the really uh, the really old ones. Uh, okay, so here's one. Um, question, why does a stock drop after hours when earnings have been better than expected? Well, um, I mean, that's, uh, <laughs> I guess the, the simple answer is um, there there is what is called a whisper number, um, which is, you know, even though earnings were better than expected, they might not have been as much better as expected as people thought. Um, it could also be a sign of weak action in the market, which means the stock is ready to turn around. In other words, if a stock posts bad numbers and rallies, that's a good sign that an uptrend is forming. On the other side of the coin, if a stock posts good numbers and sells off, it could show that a downtrend is forming. So once again, it all plays into the supply and demand dynamics that are in the market. Oh, Mark, Mark, can you tilt your camera down a little bit? How's that? Much better, much better. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, it looked like you were like a little kid sitting that needed like to sit on some phone books. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> all right, so here we go. Um, all right, guys. Um, if earnings are bad, but revenue is good, it seems like stocks always fall. Guys, more questions in the chat because I lost some from earlier. I can't scroll up all the way. Let me see if I can do it on like actual YouTube. 
Ah, okay. So, so how about this, Mark? The yeah. very first question we got was from Laura Rogers. Can you take a look at AQST on your chart? I see them when I go when I go over to actual YouTube. I can see them. I can't see them from our streaming console. So drop your questions again. The Quest of Therapeutics. AQST. Okay. Now, when I look at this stock, I don't really see much. You know, it's kind of trading sideways, consolidating. Momentum is neutral. I would say if, if you own this, you know, you're fine for the time being. Um, looks like we can see a support level under here. Right around the 330 level. So we can see how it was support back here in May. And at support levels, there is there's more demand for the stock than there is supply. Um, there's enough buying demand to absorb all of the shares that are for sale. And if you're an institutional trader like I was, you know, this is important. It, it doesn't really affect retail traders, but if you have, say, a million shares for sale um, and you get to a support level, you can sell them all and you don't have to worry about knocking the price down. A lot of times stocks rally after they find support. And we could see that happened here. Uh, we could see that happened here, uh, here in July. And then it happened right at the beginning of the month. So I would say I'm neutral. I would just be neutral on this. But if it got down around 330, that's probably a good place to buy it or to add to your position. Very nice. Very nice. And then could you give a, a really very simple explanation of what a support level is? Yeah, a support level is a concentration of buyers. Um, you know, in this case, they've decided to gather at the 330 level. It just, I mean, in theory, it could be just one big institutional buyer that needs to buy a million shares. And every time the stock gets there, they buy another 10,000 or another 20,000 and so forth. You know, then they they stay patient at their price limit. But then when the stock comes down, they buy some more and so forth and so on. So, I mean, in theory, it could just be one buyer, but that's really not the case. There's going to be multiple. The other side of the extreme is it could just be millions of buyers or thousands of buyers all just willing to buy that just want to buy a small amount, like say a hundred shares and the aggregation of it uh, forms what we call this support. I use the term support level and um, demand level almost kind of interchangeably. Um, when the support level is a level where there are more buyers than sellers. So the sellers can sell all they need to and the buyers will absorb all the stock that is for sale. Very good. Very good. Um, let's see. Let's go down. Do you have a go-to exit strategy? Like, could you give us an idea of when you're, when you're entering a stock, let's say you were in AQST or perhaps another example like Amazon or something like that. Um, what are you looking for when you're ready to get out of your position or in other words, sell or take your profit from the trade that you just made? Well, you know what? That is a great question. And that is probably the most important question slash thought in all of investing and the main reason why people most people you know lose money or blow up is because they don't have an exit strategy what i tell people is this you should not buy a stock unless you know one where you're going to take your loss and or two where you're going to take your profit um, you got to have a plan because See, as humans, we have not evolved in a way that's conducive to managing money. Um, you know, 20,000 years ago, if a saber-toothed tiger came at you and you got afraid, you know, your adrenaline would pump and your heart would beat and, you know, your, you would sweat and so forth. That was a good evolutionary response to hunting, being hunted by a saber-toothed tiger. So now 20,000 years later, say you buy a stock and it goes up. Well, now you have a fear of, oh, gee, I might lose. This thing might turn around. So that makes people sell their winners too early. Same thing on the other side. They buy a stock and it goes down. They're afraid to take the loss. So they hold on to it. And a lot of times it just goes lower and lower and lower. So you need to have a defined strategy um, before you enter a position. If, if not, you're just guessing. Um, so I would use a logical place, like in an example like this, if I was to buy this and the support broke, 
it could be a sign that these buyers um, that created the support are gone. So I would say, all right, well, I'll buy AQST. Um, if it breaks the 330 level, I'm going to just take a small loss and move on. In terms of what my target would be, you know, a trading target would probably be like the, this top here, the recent top, because there are probably going to be some re sellers or resistance. Um, if you're a long holder, you can just let it ride and put on um, like a percentage um, uh, moving average or a, a percentage um, stop out. Like you could say, all right, well, if the stock goes down 5% from where it is now, I'm going to sell it. So in theory, that way you can let it ride all the way up to, you know, $100 a share. As long as it doesn't have a move down like that, you're not going to get stopped out. But that's a really good question. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Do you want to take a look at NVIDIA? This is one that I know a lot of folks are, are thinking about here. What is that? NVIDIA, right? Yeah. Oh, all right. So this is um kind of interesting. We can see here um, an example of a resistance level, which is the opposite of a support level. At resistance levels, there's more supply than there is demand. And in this case, it's let's call it, let's call it $208. So we can see when the stock got up to here, it ran into this resistance. There was more sellers than there were buyers. The buyers were able to fill all their all their shares. Um, you know, that's why the stop, the price stopped going up, took a ride at it, run at it again here. And the same thing happened. And then you could see here how on Friday's close was pretty much right exactly at this level. So going forward, if this resistance level breaks, um, it will mean that the sellers that created this resistance are out of the market and they're gone. Mm -hmm. And that will set up the conditions for a move higher to happen. Um, this is uh, what is called a higher low. Okay, you see how there's this low here and there's a low here, all right? But this low occurred at around 190 and this low occurred around one, say 180. What this shows is that as time passes, buyers are becoming more aggressive, all right? Back here, the most anyone was willing to pay was 180. But fast forward a month, now there are people willing to pay 190. So when you see this pattern of what are called lower, uh, I'm sorry, higher lows, like we yep. see here, that indicates that there's a good chance that the resistance could break. Very good. Um, okay, so now we've got a broader question about principles. Um, and now this is when your plan doesn't work out. Um, so when do you decide to accept the loss and exit the position if it doesn't go the way you like it? What is your, your general stop loss strategy? Well, I mean, it really depends on someone's um, risk tolerance and how much they can afford to lose. Um, do you mean for me specifically or just in general? Yeah, you specifically. Well, I never invest, I never put more than probably four or 5% of my capital into any one uh, position. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's another mistake that amateurs make a lot is they put all their eggs in one basket, mm -hmm. um, for, so to speak. If you're diversified against 20 positions, what that does is it takes away the fear. Um, you know, if you only have one position and you got everything riding on it, you're going to have a lot of fear if it starts going down and gets to, towards your stop out. Um, so me personally, I want to put more than 5% of my trading capital in an, into an idea. And that particular idea, I could say, well, I'm not going to lose more than 10% on any particular trade. So if we just do the math, the most I can possibly lose on that trade would be 2% of my capital. So then I wouldn't, I wouldn't have that fear. I would be able to much, uh, it'd be easier for me to make a rational decision. So you know, diversi diversification is part is an important part of um, your risk management and your stop loss strategy. You you want to, basically you want to have it so if you lose money, like it's not going to ruin your day. You know, and I don't you know I don't know if that's a yeah. hundred bucks or if it's ten thousand right. dollars or a hundred thousand dollars. It depends how much money you have. But I would say this: go into a mindset of instead of thinking how much you can make, think of how much you can lose. And if you can say to yourself, 
if I lose a thousand dollars, well, you know, that's part of the price of trading. We'll make it back tomorrow. Then that's cool. You know, if you think, oh man, if I lost a thousand dollars, I can't pay the rent, then you probably shouldn't be investing that much. So I would look at it in, in those kind of terms. Okay, great. And thank you for giving us exact numbers there. So you would never do more than 5% of your overall uh, portfolio's value. Um, and the maximum that you're willing to lose on any trade is 10% of what you put into it. Um, all right. So this one we've got from John. Um, how much does general market movement affect a strategy? Like what, when you when you're taking into account what's going on with the broader market, how does that fit into what you're planning? Um, and we can just use this week as as an example. Well, it, I mean, it, it depends upon the strategy, right? If you're a long term buy and hold investor, um, you shouldn't really let the market movements um, affect you. A lot of a lot of investors who are or should be just buy and hold. You know, they tend to watch the financial media and they get riled up because of all the nonsense that's reported and so forth. Um, if you're a swing trader or a day trader, uh, you want volatility and you don't really mm -hmm. care if it's down or up as long as the market's moving. Um, so it depends upon the, the strategy. I mean, in some strategies, a big move, they're going to be really active, like a high frequency trading strategy. You know, a deep value strategy, they might buy or sell a stock once or twice a year. Um, okay, I love that answer. Um, and I think this one's a very, very just literal uh, question here um, uh, from Christian. Uh, taking profit. So how do you take profit? Like, what is the actual mechanism that you're using on a brokerage? Um, like an app, whatever app you're using is TD Ameritrade, whatever you're using to execute your trades. What's the actual mechanism that you're using to exit your position and take profit? If I see a clear, if, if I'm long, um, and if I buy something and I see a clear resistance level, that would be where I would have my sell target. If mm -hmm. I don't see a clear resistance level, that's where I would use a trailing stop. Um, I think that is, I could show you guys uh, something on Bitcoin here, um, which is a perfect example, okay? and. Now, say I bought Bitcoin down here, which I didn't. Um, I should have. <laughs> um, but anyway, you know, if I'm down here and I'm on Bitcoin and I'm a trader, not a long term holder, I'm a trader. I say to myself, where will this thing run into resistance? Well, I look back here and there was some clear support around the forty nine thousand. Uh, let's just call forty nine thousand for to make it easy. Um, so there was support around 49,000. So when there's a support level, turn, support levels can turn into resistance levels, all right? Because think about this. A lot of people that bought Bitcoin here were really happy they bought it when it went higher. But now when it goes down, a lot of them aren't so sure and they believe they made a mistake. Mm -hmm. So a lot of these remorseful buyers tell themselves, I'm going to get out of this thing. I don't want to own it anymore. But they also tell themselves, I don't want to take a loss. So I'm going to try to sell it for the same price that I bought it. So in this situation, it's $49,000. $49, so if I'm, if I'm a buyer down here and I'm looking, where is this thing going to run into resistance? Former support levels can become resistance levels. Mm -hmm. So like this is a situation where I would have a target. And again, this is just more for trading. I mean, there's a good, you know, there's a chance Bitcoin breaks this and continues to move higher. Yeah. But I just wanted to show you this example of how you let the market tell you what to do. So, oh, okay. So, Mark, in this case, and it, it, you, you've entered, perhaps you entered, I wish I could draw on, on this, but I can't. But let, let's say you entered at uh, 40K into Bitcoin. Um, you caught like the, that dip sort of coming up in the in early August. Yeah. If, if you follow me. This and little then, flag pattern here. Exactly right. Yes, that's a flag pattern. So guys, remember that if you don't know chart patterns, we can cover those. Just make sure you ask about it so we can make this session for you. So if you want to know chart patterns like flags, um, triangles, and that sort of thing that you may have heard of in the past, um, we'll cover them today if you ask about it. Um, but let's say you got in there and then you got up to that level where you saw that there was previous support and there was probably going to be a resistance ahead, just like the way you explained it. What on your brokerage, are you just flat out just doing a market uh, order just to sell it all? Yeah, because if, if assuming that I, 
that you don't have a position that's so big it's going to affect the market. Um, liquidity really shouldn't be a problem for your typical retail. No, trader. I don't think anyone here has that. <laughs> yeah. I think we're all retail traders here. And and you know you you don't want to miss a big move. I've known a lot of people in my life. In my life that have missed, you know, huge moves because they got too cute and they wanted to pay $10 instead of 10, 20. And then yeah. five years later, the stock's at a hundred. Um, so, you know, when you make your decision that you want in or you want out, I don't think you should worry about a couple extra pennies either way. Mm, yeah. I like that. I, I like the way that you put that. Don't get too cute with it. Um, I, I mean, over time, over time, look at a chart, look at the big picture. Um, okay, so so we've got a sp another specific stocks um, to look at for coming from Irama. Uh, would you mind uh, jumping into Facebook FB? And this is just for next week. Let's see if there's any opportunity. Oh, look, looks like you've been here before, Mark. <laughs> there's signs of life. Yes, we do look at Facebook. Um, yeah, I mean. Not really seeing too much here from a short-term point of view. Um, from a longer-term point of view, you know, it's in this nice uptrend line or this nice uptrend. Guys, watch how he draws this. Beautiful. So, yeah, there's there's pretty much three different ways to to, to identify if something is turning, if a mm -hmm. trend is turning. One is a breaking of a trend line like we have here. Um, two could be a reversal pattern, like a head and shoulders pattern. And three could be uh, like a moving average crossover, uh, which I have some examples of, which I can show you. Um, and of course, in the class, we're gonna be going over all, all three. Yep. Yep, guys. And if you guys have any questions about the class, you you can go down to the description um, uh, and you can get a link to check it out. Um, it's, we are doing a 70% off sale right now. It's absolutely insane. Um, so, so Mark, I really like how you drew, drew that. And, and guys, this is simple. A lot of times when you see other folks looking at charts or you see pictures of traders with nine, uh, uh, monitors in front of them, it seems so like they're doing something so crazy, but Mark, you, you just drew a line underneath on the right side of, uh, uh, the price here on the, on the candlesticks. Um, to identify that this thing has been in an upward trend. It was pretty simple. It took you, you, you didn't even really have to think, did you? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> no, I, no, I didn't. But what when someone looks at a chart, what they have to think about is the supply and demand dynamics. When the, when the markets are rallying, the bulls are in charge, right? So as long as the stock stays above this trend line, it shows us that the bulls are still in charge. I mean, sure, there's some you know volatility in there, but if you're, you're a longer term, holder then you know as long as the stock stays above this line it shows you the bulls are still going to be in charge and it's going to still go higher and yeah so in other words if you've been in the stock for the past each one of those candles is a day um so if you've been in it for the past 10 or 12 trading days um you might be seeing a little bit of red on your facebook position but overall facebook is in an upward trend it's still going up um, so the overall trend is up and he just drew that really simply there with that line. Um, all right. So this one is a big question. All right. So raise, he's coming in with all caps raise shout out for, for holding down the, the, or hitting the all caps button. Um, what, what do you look for when you're picking stocks to invest in? So Ray, you're asking a specific question. Invest is we're holding for a long time, buy and hold. What do you look for? Uh, Mark. The main thing I would look for if I am an investor, buy and hold, is I would study a company's operating margins. Uh, and that's a measure of how profitable they are. Um, for each dollar they spend, how much do they make? So you want to see rising operation operating margins. Uh, you also want to make sure that they're not playing any kind of funny games, like having too much goodwill. Um, like a lot of the cannabis companies that got crushed two years ago, Mm -hmm. It's because they had uh, too much of their value was in goodwill. Let me really quickly explain what goodwill is. It's basically someone's opinion. Say there's a house in, 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 in a neighborhood and every house costs $400,000, but you like pink houses and someone painted their house pink. And now they say, well, I want $500,000 for this house. Well, 
on your balance sheet, you would show, oh, this $100,000 that I have is goodwill because it's like this nebulous, um, you know, intangible idea. Yeah. So when these cannabis companies like Aurora, when they went around buying all these different companies, they were literally just printing shares, using those to buy the company and just marking up all this goodwill on their balance sheets. Mm -hmm. So th th those are two things I would look at. Um, operating margins and then seeing if there's anything funny going on with Goodwill. Mm -hmm. And I think another way uh, for folks that might be helpful to think of Goodwill is in, in a lot of cases, is almost like how strong the brand is. Like what is the the perception of it uh, uh, among investors, which can be washed away very quickly. Um, okay, so we had a question. This is a very simple one and I'm not sure if you're able to illustrate it, um, but it's, it's really how do you buy in the money if you're buying an options let's just say you're just buying a single options contract directional um uh what, what does it mean to buy in the money and how do you do it well if it's a if it's in the money it just means that if it closed out at that particular time you would make a profit for instance a, a call option gives you the right to buy a stock at a certain price so if you have a call option on xyz for thirty dollars if the stock is below $30, your option is worthless. If the stock is above $30, your stock is in the money. Um, if you know your stock is at $40, now your option is worth at least $10. So mm -hmm. whether something is in the money or out of the money, it is the where the asset is currently trading and what the strike price is on the option. Yep. And, and in, most in most cases, um, if you're looking at your brokerage, it's really just... It's literally you'll see the strike price or you'll see the current price and the in the money options are just the ones that are are below that current price um, if it's a call. And then, then it's the other way around if it's a put. Um, so it's very it should be very literal depending on which brokerage you're using. Um, and that's a great question. I'll say uh, uh, fresh. Um, uh, if you let us know which brokerage you're using, we might be able to share a screenshot um, to give you a better idea because it varies by brokerage how they display that information. Um, but it's, it's a really good thing to know because in the money options are awesome. Um, and a great, a great way to take, um, either lotto sort of lottery tickets or to hedge your position. Um, so DB is asking about the trading school. Um, uh, Rodrigo, would you mind dropping a link to, to the trading school in the chat so folks can get to it if they're not able to get to the description? I know a lot of folks that are using mobile, uh, the YouTube, uh, like, mobile site and the app it's it's hard to see the description but um we're offering the trading school for more like a little bit more than 70 percent off right now um it's a full year annual you get full access to benzinga pro essential all of the tools um it's educational modules in a, a live college class style format with mark petrino um You'll get all the recordings if you miss a class, if you're, if you're a person that's working full time. Uh, if you miss a class, you've got a library of past recordings. You'll get access to all of the ben previous Benzinga Bootcamp event uh, videos. All of the education is in one place for you in a mobile app and a, and a website that you can go to. It's, it's, it's going to be fantastic. 70% um, off right now, and it comes with a, with a free laptop. Um, so you've, not only are you getting full Benzinga Pro, full access, um, with the trading room, the live trading, the live streamed classes, the ongoing ed education mentorship with Mark, trading together, um, literally, I mean, trading the same stuff and, and uh, really making sure that you're moving together as a pack, succeeding together. Um, we're throwing in a free laptop so you can get started um, with everything that you need. Um, and okay, so I like this one. Let's get let's get down to some basics here, and let's not forget because there there are a lot of times that even when I'm looking at candles on charts, um, sometimes I can go a little bit cross-eyed. Um, uh, Ola is asking um, uh, how you read candlesticks. So Mark, I'm wondering if you could just break down right now. You have blue and red, which I think a lot of people are not used to. Um, uh, could you just sort of break down how candlesticks are read? What do they mean? Yes, I would I'll be happy to do that. Let me just see if I can find a good example. Mm. Well, unfortunately, that's not a good example. Let me see if I could find it. Let me look at G. I think that might be a good example. All right, yeah. So this this is a good example of candlesticks. Now, there's all these candlestick names, right? Like bearish engulfing pattern, doji, hanging man, this, that, and the other thing. You don't need to remember what those things are. 
You just need to understand what the pattern illustrates. A red, each one of these rectangles is a, is a day of trading, okay? Each one of these um, vertical rectangles is a day of trading. A red day is a day that's down for the day, is down for the day. A blue day is a day that's up. So we can see here, this stock GE opened around 102. The bears were in control, went down to here and closed at the low. So over the day, picture it this way, like 9.30 in the morning when the market opened, that was like around the highest prices of the day. Over the course of the day, the bears drove it, close, uh, drove it lower. This led into the next day, which you can see is kind of the same action. But now this here is blue day is a day where the market was up. The bears took, I mean, the bulls took control back here. Stock opened around 96 and it went back up to, you know, 101, 60, which is where it closed. Mm -hmm. So this is, um, you know, the blue days are the up days. The red days are the down days. You can kind of look at this if you follow football, like I, or the way I look at it is like, these are like players on the field. Like, for instance, on this big day here, like, all right, so right here, bears are in control, bears are in control. On this day here, the bulls took over, and that momentum drove it all the way back up. So my guess is these two patterns together are probably some kind of a candlestick pattern. It probably has a name, but you don't need to remember the name. You just need to know that it shows that the bulls have taken charge from the bears and the trend reversed. And you know, if you were a day trader or a swing trader, you could have captured, you know, two or three percent there in just a few days. Good. Um, uh, and Ephraim, welcome to Benzinga Trading School. Thank you for joining. Um, yes, you will get a syllabus and you will get a laptop. Thank you for joining. Stay tuned for details um, by watching your email inbox. Um, OK, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So we've, we've hit a lot of questions from chat. Um, I'd like to go over, because um, a couple of people asked, could you just go over a couple basic chart patterns? Like just some, some, some the real, real um, what's the word I'm looking for? Steak and knives, nuts and bolts, bread and butter? <laughs> well, here's one that worked out um, the way it was supposed to. Um, this right here is what is known as a descending triangle. And I'll let me erase all this so we can do it together. Mm -hmm. All right. So now going back, right, we can see this was resistance. So remember what we said, levels that were resistance can turn into support. So this level 1330, let's call it, became support here and support here. But this decline shows the bears are taking over. Like, remember we when we just spoke about um, higher lows? These are lower highs. See, there was a peak here. Then the next high was here, which is way lower than this one. The next high was here, which is lower than this one. The next high was here, which was lower than this one. So these lower highs show that as time is passing from early June to now or until a few days ago, the bears are becoming more aggressive. Um, the the bulls were content to stay down here at the thirteen thirty level. You know they were like, all right, well we'll just hang out. We'll wait for the sellers to come to us. We're not in that big of a rush to own the stock. The bears, on the other hand, like they really want out. So you have this combination of aggressive sellers and complacent buyers, and that um, is what led to the breaking of this support level. And again, just like with candlesticks, you don't really need to memorize the, the names of the patterns. You just need to know to know what they're showing in the supply and demand dynamics. And these lower highs are a negative dynamic. So this is a descending triangle pattern right here. That's a pretty classic uh, looking pattern. So okay. I, I like uh, descending triangles and ascending triangles are two patterns that I look at very closely. All right, there you go. Um, and then we've got a question about the course, which we'll, we can talk about the course a little bit more, um, uh, but does it cover options trading? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. And there's a link in chat if you wanna check that out, Jane. Um, 
Okay, so I think that we can move into starting to construct um, a plan for the week ahead. How does that sound, Mark? That sounds good. All right. Um, so what, what are you watching? What are you thinking about going into Monday? Well, I go through all the sectors. There's 11 sectors in the S&P 500. And I look at the spiders for each sector. So in going through them, I noticed that the energy sector is very oversold. Okay. Now let's take a look at oil and we'll see why. And make sure you define oversold and tell and show us how you know, because I saw a few questions about oversold and overbought. Okay. Um, oversold and overbought refer to the momentum. A momentum is simply where something is versus where it was X many days ago. When something gets oversold, um, it's trading below what would be its typical or usual trading range. If it's overbought, it's trading above what would be its usual or typical trading range. Traders look at overbought and oversold because they're expecting a reversion to back to the average. So if it's something's oversold, it could bounce. Um, if it's overbought, it could, um, you know, it could sell off. Mm -hmm. So this brings us to oil, which is a good example right here. These are Bollinger bands. Okay. These blue lines, and I could even make this a little easier to look at. Um, we'll get rid of the background and we'll just concentrate on the lower band. All right. We have to understand that. Uh, we have to understand that I can't figure out how to do this. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right. Now you go. There, there you go. All right. There we go. Most of the trading today, and I'm talking like 70 to 80% on a given day, is driven by these computerized trading algorithms, right? That the hedge funds use, the investment banks use. There's a lot of them. Most of them are driven by probability theory, or they're based on probability theory and statistics. Probability theory and statistics says that 95% of all trading should be within two standard deviations of an average. Hmm. So if something gets below the two standard deviations, that's considered oversold, all right? That's an extreme below what would be its typical trading range. A Bollinger Band, which comes on in Benzinga Pro and um, you know, most charting software is two standard deviations below the 20 day average. So we can see here, you know, when oil got below it here, it rallied. Same thing happened here. Same thing happened here. Now oil is below this uh, band again. It's also oversold on this indicator. Um, this is the relative strength momentum indicator. It's just a different way of measuring the same thing. Um, but traders who trade oil, you know, this is what they do. They're most of them are technical traders. So they're going to see that oil is oversold and they're going to be looking for buying opportunities. Now, how does a regular retail investor go about that? Well, we can go into a screener here. Okay. And these are oversold stocks, um, which I got on the trading view. Then we can look in energy because these stocks are all related to oil. And we could just kind of go through these names here and, and look for ones that you know might be interesting because <clears throat> if oil rebounds, and I'm sure it will, uh, at least to some degree, these stocks are all gonna take off um, because they follow oil. So, so, so Mark, we've got, yes. a, we've got a broad overview of a top down and guys really really remember that that's very important this is how the pros look at the entire market a top down look at the market for which sectors are performing and then looking in those sectors for the best stocks so i going in again mark can you just say what your favorite sectors are um well I guess right now my favorite sector would be energy because I think it's going to be a rebound and I think there could be some trades there this week. Um, that's just a short-term per perception. That's it. I mean, we're, that's making a plan for the week, right? So, so right now we're looking at energy. We're looking for a bounce. We're looking for an opportunity to grab some upper momentum from a reversal from some, some downward momentum that we've had. 
Um, so looking at energy. So now we have a broad overview. We are getting a lot of questions about trading school. So I just want to take the opportunity um, really quick um, to bring Rodrigo on. Um, and we'll just talk about uh, what folks will get. We're getting questions about the syllabus and so forth. So let's let's go ahead and go through those. Um, so Rodrigo, you're welcome to come on anytime. Um, I don't know if I have to do it. Oh. It's up, ladies and gentlemen. How are we doing today? There we go. How are you doing, man? I'm doing great. I'm excited about the trading education. I spoke with Mark yesterday about the curriculum. You know, I wish I could take this class, Neil, but I'm so damn busy here. So, uh, but the classes are recorded. So that's great, right? That's why, you know, we might be able to take them later. There you go. That's the plan. That's that's the way we design this. We know that probably more than half of the people that would be taking this are going to be working full time, maybe have kids, daytime, daytime obligations. This is really designed like taking a college course if you were like a professional or an executive or something like that um, uh, and trying to complete a degree. Um, that's the way we've designed this. So let me go ahead and just share really quick. So we're getting questions about how it exactly works. Um, so number one, um, classes start in September. We are offering an early enrollment discount. Um, that's going to get you uh, a total of 70%. It's like, that's like a rounded number off of everything. Um, and I'll just go through the list. Um, number one, you're getting access, full access to Benzinga Pro, um, which at the full price over two grand, over two grand for Benzinga Pro that's getting thrown in there. Um, and what is Benzinga Pro? It's the best tool out there for retail traders to level the playing field. Absolutely. This is the tool that has all of Benzinga's data displayed inside of it in easy to use modules so that you can research the stock market. You can research sectors for your top down approach. You can find the tickers that are strong within those sectors and you can make your watch list for the week. Um, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. Um, Benzinga Pro is an extremely robust and powerful and fantastic platform um, available both on desktop and on mobile um, for you to conduct due diligence. It's great for day trading. It's great for swing trading. It's great for investors. Um, it comes with all of the features that you see here. If you guys go to pro.benzinga.com, um, you can see all of these features are included with the version of Pro, the fully stacked version of Pro that you're going to get with Benzinga Trading School. Um, the next thing that you're going to get is live chat. So this is an actual platform that has a live chat room. So if you guys have ever been in a Discord for, for trading, live trading uh, Discord rooms, or maybe like a Telegram or something like that, um, that comes in it. But that this is with your Benzinga mentors, live traders um, in there with you. Um, so we are 100% giving the full details with education in mind for live trading on an ongoing basis, daily, daily gathering, pre-market, during the day, intraday, through the day, um, live trading, setups, um, entry, exit, everything, the reasoning why. And then you're also getting your live video classes um, so the, the classes are taught just like a college course. If you want to go to Investorpedia uh, or any other site that just sort of has articles that, that explain basic concepts, you are more than welcome. Um, but the reason we put this together is that we found that folks that try to search around the internet and, and piece together in a piecemeal manner, um, little bits of trading education are ultimately not successful. Um, because there's so much more that goes into it. I, I would think that that is equivalent to, um, you know, wanting to become a mathematician um, or something similar, perhaps some, some form of engineer, um, and then teaching yourself online. Um, that's just, we're just not at the point where all that information is available for you. You need the rigor and you need the, the um, uh, guidance of a person who cares about your success to keep you going so that you're actually fundamentally changed as an investor, as a trader um, from the beginning to the end. Um, and that's what we're trying to do. We want to produce great traders. Um, and Rodrigo, I, <laughs> I think you got that one. Um, and then the other thing, of course, you're going to get the lightning fast news. Benzinger Pro at its core has been a news feed, but it's so much more than that. Um, you're going to get 
all of the features that are going to come, the signals, the the watch list, all of that type of stuff um, that you get with Benzinga Pro is coming with it. And we're giving you a free trading laptop, meaning that it's powerful enough to run all of the trading tools that you can possibly imagine, including um, the stuff that Benzinga is giving you. Um, so that's coming with it for free, an absolutely killer deal. Um, Rodrigo, would you mind dropping that link in the chat so folks can get to it if they if they don't have it already? Um, you guys can get to that. It's put, I'm putting it up on the stream or uh, uh, onto the screen so you guys can see it. Um, but there you go. There you go. Do you have any questions about the trading school, guys? Well, I, saw, I saw some questions there in, in the chat, Neil. I just want to make sure that um, we can clear it up. So, yes, the, the classes will be recorded in case you do have a nine to five. And basically, uh, Mark will show you everything that he learned working with the big guys right at the top. He's going to give you all the education that basically, um, you know, big money has been trying to keep secret, right? Keep a lid on top of it. Well, this is what we're doing. We're leveling the playing field, guys. So uh, even if you have Benzinga Pro, uh, we'll still be able to work out a deal with you like Cypher. Uh, even if you have Pro Mentorship, you know, we'll find a way to, to help you out with this. Uh, Reynaldo, you subscribed yesterday to The Essential. Can you upgrade to Pro? Absolutely. Um, we can help you out with all this stuff. And even if you guys, I see a lot of Spanish speakers here. Don't worry. I'm bilingual. So I, I can, you know, talk to you and, and you know, help you get into this course as well. Yep, guys, and and here's just a little bit of a preview of what we're we have in store for everyone. Um, you're getting into this thing, and you've got your daily schedule lined up for you. You've got your in case you miss it previous classes, the class recordings very easily found. Um, going over, you've got your live chat along with your live stream and your charting tool, so that you can chart your you can you can draw on your chart you can find patterns you can identify entries and exits along with mark while he's doing classes so this is a fully interactive live trading based on what's happening in the market now not what happened in the market two years ago when we pre-recorded a course and this is on a rolling basis um and then of course everything is couched in that live chat so the idea is that you're trading as a community with folks that have the same educational background as you um, so very, very powerful stuff there um, and available um, if you guys click the link um, for over 70 percent off. Um, if you click the link in the description, there is also limited seating, guys. Obviously, we do want to keep the quality of the education high. We're not trying to pack 20,000 people there and it, just with Mark. Um, so we obviously want the, the quality of education to be high. So um, Mark is really, um, I mean, Mark loves this. He loves teaching. He loves educating. He loves being able to give you guys the tools and the knowledge that, you know, uh, big money has kept, kept a lid on for all this time. And ultimately that matches Benzinga's uh, core ideal, which is lever leveraging the playing field for too long. Big money has had an advantage over data and tools over retail. And, you know, th this is not a surprise. Retail's left holding the bag. That's why we're changing things. That's why Mark is so happy to start this education course. And like I said, I'm happy as well because, you know, this is what's been missing in the market, quite honestly. Yeah, absolutely. And, and Murat has a really good question. Is it self-paced? Absolutely. So those live classes that I talked about will be on a rolling basis. So if you miss a live class, say there's a, a live class Tuesday at 12 p.m. Um, and you miss it because you're busy. Um, you've got a couple options if you want to catch that class. Let's say it's it's understanding chart patterns number one um, or part one. Um, you will have the video recording in your live feed in Benzinga Trading School so you can watch the recording. Or if you want to catch a live one so you can ask questions and interact and perhaps even trade along during that, the classes are rolling. Um, so if you wait 14 days, it will come up again. Um, and you'll be you'll always be able to attend these live classes. And as we release more course packs, deeper, more advanced options trading, that sort of thing, um, you'll have the ability to access those. Um, the best part is that, like, I mean, you remember that, I mean, Neil and I have a background in finance. We went to school for this. Nobody ever taught us this, right? I mean, they teach you the money management part, calculating offer offerings, calculating dividends, you know, the, the boring stuff, right? The accounting stuff. But we are traders, right? And this is what was missing all this time. So the fact that you can get this for a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of something that's not taught in a financial uh, you know, education university, 
it's great. But ultimately, at the end of the day, guys, remember, this is for you. You have to invest in your education. Nobody else will. Like your parents could even pay for your education and you still fail, right? Because you didn't learn it right and put the effort. This is the education that you do want to take seriously. Learn pen and paper. Mark is the best person that you can learn this from. And like I said, this is meant for retail traders. So um, enjoy it while it's there. <clears throat> I don't know until when we're going to have this deal available, to be honest. Um, but I can tell you, if I'd be you, I, I'd definitely take this now because in college, you can only take a course three times before you are forced to pick another major. In this case, you can take it as many times as you want. If you want to brush up on market structure, if you want to brush up on, on investment psychology, you can always take that again. And like Neil said, the courses will continue to be updated and you won't have to pay anything additional. You can continue to take the courses at your pace. Yep, absolutely. And, and we had a question about the syllabus. Um, we will be releasing the syllabus and making it available for everyone this week. This week. Um, so let's see. How long does it last? Really good question, Kirsten. Um, so the way that we're doing this trading school is that you come in and, and you start classes immediately. And that lasts for about two months. Um, and then after that, you maintain full access to the platform and ongoing mentorship. So you start off with classes, you graduate from classes, you have ongoing mentorship, and all of your graduated classmates are now your, your trading group. Um, and so our plan with this is to build the, the best, most unified and, and most solidly educated group of traders on the Internet um, by leveraging our position in the market um, and bringing everybody into one clean place where you have access, access to the best tools that you could possibly ask for um, to trade. So that's a really good question, Kirsten. Um, does this include Benzinga options and options related courses? Not yet, but we will be doing more advanced options uh, trading education down the road. Um, what you're going to start off with is foundations, which are at the top of the session. Um, when I'm talking about foundations, I mean the stuff that is going to be 90% of what you need to be successful and confident uh, in the market. The more advanced stuff will come later um, with your subscription. Um, Oh, Carl, uh, in, in case you missed it, so a lot of you guys that just trickled in, I just want to give you the update because we've been going hard on the education here for a couple of hours. But basically, um, we are doing for today only a special deal for you guys, including Benzinga Pro Essential, which is the best research tool out there that equity firms love to use and retail loves to use as well for everybody. It includes a free laptop. It also includes the trading education with Mark Petrino, CMT, the man that has been trading with the big, big money. Have you seen the series Billions with Steve Cohen? You know, that's where that is where Mark is coming from. So he's used to managing big amounts of money. On top of that, you're going to get the chat room with Mark, which also functions as a live trading and educational uh, chat room that you will have with Mark. That way, when you graduate, you'll still have that community feeling. So if you just joined, we are doing a special 70% off, valid till midnight. And uh, well, you know, this is really what I've been uh, wanting, right? Being able to provide you guys the education with Mark, being able to provide you the best tools so that you are able to make educated financial decisions. Because if you cannot make informed financial decisions for yourself, somebody else will make them for you. And that involves you losing money. So it's time to step it up and get educated, guys. Absolutely. Yep. And Mark, I think this is uh, a good opportunity. Mark, would you mind giving folks a brief overview, if you could, um, of how of what types of classes they'll be taking with you? What are the topics to be covered and, and how do you uh, are, are you going to approach the structure there? Um, we're going to do a class that's specifically on how to figure out which levels are important, <clears throat> support and resistance levels. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to do a class on momentum, a class on chart patterns, um, a class on various investment strategies. The, the last class is going to be how to build your own um, trading models and so forth and so on. So we have eight classes, um, and I can't remember it's, all of them I, off the top of my head. I got him. I, I got them all here. Introduction and philosophy, levels, yeah. trends, momentum, patterns, investment psychology, market principle analysis, and sentiment, investment strategies and trading patterns, and more. Yeah, that's it. 
Yeah. So a then, lot of it too is going to be like Neil said, you know, we're not going to be looking at a support level from two years ago. We're going to be looking at a support level that's relevant, you know, currently. Yeah. For the current market. I mean, the, the market two years ago could be radically different from where we are right now. Um, Wayne, I agree. It is an unbelievable deal and we, that's the way we want it to be. Um, so I just wanted Rosie. Rosie is saying uh, she she needs the technical analysis only. Will Mark be the, the coach? Again, she needs t technical analysis skills. Mark will be the coach. And yes, Mark is a charter market technician. So you're going to get very affordably uh, all of the uh, technical analysis education that you could possibly want. Uh, Neil? Yes, sir. Uh, I think it's time. Let's see. Is it, is it time to, to welcome some new members? It is absolutely time to welcome some new members. It's time for roll call, baby. Let's go. Naive, Tichatari, Tyler, Nick, Sunil, Asim, Robert, Igor. Let's go. Welcome, guys. Congratulations and welcome to Venzing a Train School. I'm super excited to have you guys guys here with us. I really, really believe that this is going to be the best thing that Venzing has ever done. Um, so guys, I'm very, very happy that you guys have joined. Um, so is options activity included in this package? It might be in the future, but starting off, it will not be options activity is not included, but you, you don't really necessarily need that for the type of trading that we're going to be doing to start with. Um, all right. So let's go back in to a little bit. I mean, what kind of, what type of laptop is it? We're being asked at Yasmin. Um, so the, all, all of the laptops that we provo provide are, uh, uh, Back tested they, with Pro. They're, they're based on um, uh, what's available um, from our wholesalers. Um, they're all name brands. So we're providing HP, um, Dell, Lenovo, um, Asus. Um, they're all name brand. It's not anything that we're getting from like Alibaba or anything like that. Um, everything has at least eight gigabits or eight gigabytes rather um, of RAM um, and all of the minimum hardware specs. Um, to run all of the tools that you could possibly need. They are Windows PCs, not Chromebooks, fully functional, Windows up-to-date, brand new, not used, anything like that, not last year's model, brand new laptops. Um, will graduates have access to future classes or just what's been discussed this year? Um, Mur Murat, as we release new classes, graduates will have access, and then we'll also have some, some extra stuff that you can opt into if you want to. Um, when do classes start? We don't have a hard start date, but they start in September. They start in September. So you want to get in now because the time is coming very soon when the price is going to go back up. Um, and this is, we're doing a very, very serious uh, flash sale right now today. Um, it's probably the best deal that we're going to do on it, period. Um, uh, you just gained access, Venus. Um, there's a, a replay for registrants. Thank you for asking. Um, uh, our, the great question. What is the cancellation policy? Rodrigo, the cancel you're about to go. Absolutely. The cancellation, well, well, we have a 14 day money back guarantee policy. Let's be clear 14 day money back guarantee. That means that you have 14 full days to try it. And if you don't like it, you get all of your money back. But ultimately, I know that you will. I've talked to literally everybody that signed up here and everybody's pumped, excited because this is what's been missing. It's the missing link. Like, you know, that monkey, we know we don't know where we came from. <laughs> like, this is it, guys. OK, this is why retail is holding the back, because there is no product out there that will give you this education. I've been doing this for years and I have a decade of experience in finance. And I can tell you, I could not find this anywhere until this came out. And that is why everybody's so excited about this, because number one, you know that this is sacred information. By sacred, I mean people want to keep it secret. Why? Because they want to keep calling retail dumb money. They want retail to keep holding the bag, right? 90% of retail traders burn their accounts, right? So there's a reason why. There's a reason why they keep you in the dark. There's a reason why they want you to put all, do all these risky trades. And at the end of the day, they benefit from this. When you're buying calls way out of the money, expire worthless, the investment brokerage is making money out of your bad financial decisions. If you would have the right financial education for trading, you wouldn't be doing that, right? And you, you, you need to also stop following the herd. And by that, I mean, follow, literally doing your own research. But if you don't know where to start, you need to listen to somebody that's already have 
that background, you know, that experience trading with big accounts like Mark Petrino. His hand does not shake when he's doing trades. And this is somebody that has been doing this for a long time. And if you're starting, there's no better way to do this now because otherwise you're either going to blow up your account or get out of trading and you never even gave it a chance. So you have to give yourself a chance. You will not be a doctor and one day go into the ER and start doing surgery on brains. You're not going to be a lawyer if you just walk into a courtroom and start you know, talking nonsense. It takes decades of education. It takes effort. It takes hard work. There's no easy route around this, guys. You really have to put in the time and the dedication in your education because nobody else will. And on top of that, if you don't do it, it because of X, Y, Z reason, right? Laziness or whatever it is, you know, that benefits somebody and it's not your wallet. It benefits the other person who actually took the education, right? Compare two people, one person with education, one person without the trading education. Honestly, who do you think is going to win if these two are trading against each other? It, it's common sense. But on top of that, you're getting the best tool so that you can get confirmation, right? Benzinga Pro as it is, it is the best tool out there that you can imagine when it comes to trading, investing, scalping, options, crypto, whatever it is. That is the best tool that you can have. And just with, just pro by itself, you're looking at two, three grand a year, all right? You're paying half of that and you're getting Mark Petrino, who's coming from, you know, from the heavens there, right? And you're also getting the chat room with Mark and you're getting a free laptop. So, this is not going to last long. I'm being real with you guys. Take the deal, learn, get educated. Otherwise, somebody else will, and he'll probably be the one on the winning side of the trade, not you. All right. So let's get back a little bit. We got some questions about like moving averages and stuff like that. So, Mark, I'm going to pull up your screen again. Thank you, Rodrigo. Uh, let's get that up here. Um, so, uh, in general, I think we had a general question about moving averages. Um, and guys, if you have any more questions about the subscription, you can contact Rodrigo. There's a link in the description. We'll keep that in um, uh, uh, in the chat for you guys. Just scroll down and get it in the description, though. Or you can contact Rodrigo. Rodrigo can drop his uh, his information in there. Um, so, so what are your Mark? What do you think are like the basic moving averages that folks should should be aware of, and how do they they go into your trading? Well. You know, moving averages, I think the there, there are different kinds, right? There are simple moving averages, there are exponential moving averages, there are weighted moving averages. I think what you have to do is just find something that works for you, um, that you are comfortable with. I don't think you can necessarily say an exponential moving average is better than a simple moving average. I think you have to kind of look at each stock and almost and, and really just kind of eye, eyeball it uh, sometimes it doesn't take like sophisticated analysis so like look at this boeing here okay this is um and of course we're going to learn how to do things like this in our class but this is a very simple moving average strategy which you can see has been very profitable uh since november the green line is the 10-day moving average it's just a simple moving average. The red line is the 20 day moving average. So the rule is buy when a rising green line crosses the red line and sell in the opposite. So we can see we caught the bottom here in November. Uh, we sold up here in December or went short, um, bought back here in February. Um, up here, you know, we had a little bit of a whipsaw, but still came out ahead. Um, bought here, sold here, just got a buy sign, and now it looks like we just got a sell signal on Friday. But the point is, is that I just kind of went through this and eyeballed it. I didn't really use any kind of like mathematical system because every stock has different patterns and every stock has different cycles. So what might work on one stock might not work on another. So this, as we can see, the 10 and 20 day moving average were good for Boeing. Let's just put in some other random stock. I don't know. How about American Airlines? Um, now we can see here, it probably wouldn't have worked as well on this stock because there's too many what we call whipsaws or too many crossovers. So what works for one stock isn't going to work for another stock. So you have to take the stocks that are on your watch list. 
you have to kind of go through them, eyeball them, figure out which moving averages fits each particular one. There's no like one size fits all uh, answer. Um, you know, the popular ones people watch are the 50 and the 200 day. Those are the most popular. So there but you go. They're the best. Right, right. They're just very commonly talked about. Um, who's teaching the class? Mark is teaching the class. Mark, he's right here. Mark, Mark Putrino, Charter Market Technician, CMT. Um, uh, are we eligible for this new discount opportunity? People who are registered last week with fifty, talk to Rodrigo. Um, you've got you've got his contact information. Um, and then, so so, uh, uh, Elisa is asking a very specific question about what is the best moving average for scalping on small time frames. Totally depends on the stock. Totally depends on the stock. Yeah, it's the same thing. You would just have to look at it, the stock on a on a daily pattern. Um, for instance, a five day pattern, and then you would just try to figure out which moving averages, um, you know, fit that stock. This here is just the just the default. Um, these are five minute intervals, so one of these would be a um, moving average based on five minutes, and the other one would be based on or the 10 day is based on five minutes. So if you have a shorter time frame, you just have to apply. The thing about these trends is they're very fractal. Um, you can use the same methods, whether you're a long-term holder or whether you're a scalper that's in and out of a position in, you know, in half an hour. Uh, so we're, we're getting, Shelly's asking about um, a currency pair. Um, can you look at the pound versus the U.S. dollar? Um, I can but i don't know what the symbol is so it's gbp usd if you just type it into search gbp usd and that would be under forex yep um oh well i mean when i look at this let's get rid of these moving averages for argument's sake here Okay, now this is a daily chart. This is um, going back to the beginning of the year. I mean, if you're a currency trader, you're going to be all over this. See this big move down here? And you see how it is right where it was in July? And let me put a momentum indicator in here. Um, and we'll see how oversold it actually is. Uh, I got to go back to a different screen. Anyway, I'm sorry. But um, yeah, if I was looking at this, um, it's right where there's support uh, a month ago. So I think that this is probably a long trade right here. <laughs> well, there, there you go, Shelly. Um, watch oh, here we go. Okay. And, and, and welcome to trading school, Minnie. Welcome to trading school. Um, okay, what else are we looking at here? Um. Ooh, let's look at it. We got a cryptocurrency request. Um, so this one, how do we look this up? I'm not actually familiar with this one. GameX is that what? It, what is the tick? It's just GMX. Okay, so so GMX USD or GMX crypto. It might not be covered on here. We just go to all and type GMX USD. D. Yeah, I guess they don't cover it. Okay. Um, yeah, sorry. Uh, or try typing GameX, G-A-M-E-X. We get all of the principles that we're talking about here apply to everything. Um, so as long as we can pull it up and we have a chart for it, we can look at it. It's a game coin. Is it this one? Um, uh Maybe. Why don't, you, why don't you just take a look at that one? That one looks really new. Yeah, I mean, this doesn't, doesn't really have much of a history. Um, but I would point out something here that's, uh, you know, $1 is a psychological level, right? And that's exactly where the thing uh, is trading right now. So pay attention to these psychological levels, you know, $0.80, cents, $0.90. Cents. I know it sounds simple, but that's how people think. I mean, 
and I'm sure a lot of our students are going to think the same way. I mean, how many people say, I'm going to sell it if it gets to $98? You know, they say, I'm going to sell it if it gets to $100. And even the pros uh, do the same thing. The, I've seen big hedge fund managers do the same thing. So this is an example of how a psychological level can be important. Okay, so psychological levels, those round numbers, they mean something. Um, all right, so so welcome to Trading School, S, 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 SGL Romo. Um, going off the email address there. Welcome to Trading School, my friend. Um, let's see. What's your take on? Ooh, here we go. We haven't, haven't seen this one for a, at least like a week or two. MU. Um, is the comment from the Throneful um, is fundamentally seems solid, but it keeps going down. Micron. Yeah, we can see how it failed at this resistance up around 85. Um, but now it looks like to me um, that the sell-off could be over because, you know, we're a little oversold and see the $70 level here. Um, yeah. Why don't you put a line? Oh yeah. Look at that. All right. So what so is that, what is that guys, at... guys in chat? What is, what is that line surfing as right now? Let us know if you, if you know what that is. We talked about this at the very top of the, the workshop. So, yeah, so this was a support level back in December, and it looks like it has been so over the past week. So this is the critical uh, level to watch if you own the stock. If this breaks, you could get, you know, pretty big move down. Um, but if it holds, and it's going to rebound a little bit because it's oversold. But that's that's the critical level here is 70. So there you go. Um Let's take a look. Uh, Marat, thank you for joining uh, uh, Benzinga Trading School. And guys, if you're curious about Benzinga Trading School or you're just here, just getting here now, we're offering 70% off the new Benzinga Trading School, um, which is a brand new platform that starts off with college style courses and then moves you into ongoing mentorship with a live trading room, chat, streaming video, um, uh, full access to Benzinga Pro, our flagship stock research, due diligence, charting, news platform, um, and a free laptop just for signing up to make sure you have what you need to, tr to learn, to trade wherever you are. Um, and if you have any questions, you've got Rodrigo's contact information right there. Um, so let's take a look uh, at uh, SESN. Isaac, it, it sounds like you're uh, not having a fun time with SESN. Let's get an idea. Oh, it's a biotech stock. Yeah. Um, well, again, you know, I think you might see some kind of a rebound here because we're at this important psychological level of a dollar, right? And it's way oversold. So, so again, for the folks that, that may have missed that, Mark, how do you know by looking at what you see on your screen that this is oversold? All right. Well, this indicator down here is called the relative strength in relative strength index and it really is just a compares where a stock is now to where it was 14 days ago and these are just the default settings if it exceeds it to the if it exceeds this red line to the downside it shows it's oversold um now let's see it was oversold here and it's i know this is hard to see but it rallied you know from 40 cents to like 77 cents um, so I would say short term, this thing could bounce. Um, you could have a trade here. Uh, long term, I don't really know anything about the company or what they do. Um, you know, it's that's the thing about these biotech stocks is a lot of times they have all their eggs in one basket. And if it works out, you know, they're they're great. But if it doesn't work out, then things like this happen. Yep, absolutely. Um, and guys, just a reminder, uh, I'm going to drop the link in chat. We are running 70% off Benzinga Trading School where you can start off with your education because I can see some more folks are coming in right now. 70% um, uh, off Benzinga Trading School um, where you're gonna, going to get full college style courses with the recordings if you miss them or you can attend um uh the a repeat of the same class on an ongoing basis um a complete syllabus of trading education um, all types of trading including investing all types of assets it applies to stocks options cryptocurrency forex you name it um, of course centering on stocks it's sort of what we all have in common here um getting the ongoing mentorship um from mark live trading room 
free laptop for signing up and full access to Benzinga Pro. Um, and, and also, it, too, um, you know, it's not just about just trading. If something happens in the market one day and people have, or you know, hear something on the media and they want to talk about that, you know, we can talk about that as well. There you go. That's what that's what it's it's really, really nice to have someone that's got a little bit more experience than you or a lot of bit um, uh, that you can ask questions to during times of, of just stark uncertainty. Turn off CNBC. Get into a trading room of people that are are looking to take opportunities every day. Um, so there you go. Let's go back to the chart. Um, is futures included, Beatrice? Um, not explicitly, but all of the principles that we will cover in Benzinga Trading School will apply to to futures. Um, so, so Mark, I know you you invest or, or you trade and uh, trade futures rather. Um, so you'll be talking about futures. Of course, sure. Yeah, uh, we follow the commodities. Uh, we looked at the oil futures before. Uh, natural gas, uh, copper. We'll, there you we'll go. Be looking at different futures, sure. There you go. Um, and then we got um, um. Oh, here, Muhammad has a question. This is the last question I'll take about the class, and then and then I saw a really good question about multi time frame analysis. Big big phrase. Um, and and we can touch on that, Mark. But, uh, Muhammad, any prerequisites to join the classes, or is it meant for beginners in trading? The classes are meant for beginners. Um, so very fundamental things. Like if you're looking at Mark's chart and you don't know how to read the what is called candlesticks. You'll actually learn like how to read that. So absolute beginners. I mean, the idea here is that if you just open your first brokerage account and you just heard about this thing called the stock market and you want to get into it, this is the best absolute place for you to start. Um, or if you've been trading for a while and you want to get more successful, we've got classes for you. And then you're getting the ongoing group of traders. Um, you're getting the ongoing mentorship full access to Benzinga Pro, um, all of the tools that are available in uh, one place, just one place you sign into, mobile app, all of that, um, your charting tools, all that kind of stuff in one place. Um, so the idea is to, to grow this and create the best online community for trading um, from an informed, educated background where we're all like-minded. Um, really just trying to... Uh, uh, take away the clutter, the uncertainty, the dis disorganization that you find in like Discord um, uh, chats that you can join. Um, so I saw one on, can we look at like larger time frames? So I think, I'll, oh, here we go. Um, so Elisa is asking, could you could you go over big time frames and the importance of incorporating it into finding plays? Um, why is it important? Um, uh, and why is it important for, for all different time frames of trading? So, so large time frames and how that fits into like the day traders perspective. Well, you know, the rule is never fight the trend. So if the long term trend is up and you're not sure of whether to enter a position or not, uh, it's probably would be better off going on the long side. You know, that's what they mean by that. Um, you know, don't fight, don't fight the trend. Uh, all else being equal, the odds are that whatever you're trading is going to go in the same direction as the broader markets are. I mean, if you're like a day trader or a scalper, mm -hmm. um, you want to pay attention to longer term trades because that's where you can make some real money. Like, for example, at the bottom of March uh, last year in 2020, um, I'll, and you can see in my lessons where I pretty much called that the bottom to two days after the actual bottom. Um, but that's where you can really make money. I mean, sometimes in a given year, there might be just two or three days that are just the days to get in there and really, you know, you can really make a lot of money if you're a scalper. So, you know, if, if something is coming off a major bottom, right, like last March, and you're wondering whether I should sell this or not. Well, I'm a day trader. Should I sell this or not? Well, if you look at the longer term trend and it's really clear that you're coming off a major bottom, then you hold on to your position and let it uh, let it run. Good. And then one more question about the class here. Um, uh, in the class, where do you go? Um, from Jay, in the class, uh, will it cover market co uh, correlations di slash divergences like oil, gold, bond yield? Um, not quantitatively, um, but we will be looking at things like that. But there's going to be, I won't be doing things like regression analysis or things like that. Yeah, so for, more from a trading perspective, less from an economic or statistical perspective. Um, and okay. 
So, do, 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 do. Oh, okay, Alyssa, where do you, you want to see an example? Give us a ticker and we can look at it. Um, uh, so, Melissa and Ali on a shared account want to look at some penny stocks. Mark, are there any penny stocks that, that you're watching right now? Well, I mean, they're going back to those energy uh, plays. Um, I talked before about how oil is oversold. So, yeah. I have a bunch of these little energy companies on my radar screen. Let's go through uh, them. Let's 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 start putting together a little energy watch list going into the week. Um, all right. Well, we can just this one is Evolution Petroleum. EPM um, ticker EPM. Yeah. So you know, like like oil, it's oversold. Um, so let's see what else can we find here. This is a situation where we can go to that screener if I could find it. Are you just trying to go use the trading view screener? Yeah, for some reason I can't find it. I'm using just, my wife. Just, just just open a new tab and just go to tradingview.com. Yeah. All right. Let's start from the end. All right. So now we go to the screener, markets, stocks. And remember, this is coming from a top-down analysis. We saw that oil is oversold, so we're expecting oil to rebound. So now we're going to look at the stocks because these stocks are going to move more than oil is. You know, if oil is up 2%, some of these stocks might even be up 10%. So we're in oversold, and we can go in here into sector and industry, and then we can go down here into energy minerals, and then... Let's see. We can just start going through all these stocks and just take a look at them. Uh, let's take a look at TGA. And again, I'm just pulling these uh, right off the screen. I'm not looking at anything that. Um, oh, where is that? So basically, what I would do is I would go through all these energy names, um, and I am going to look to see which ones are poised to rebound, and then if oil makes the move. Um, then these stocks should follow. Uh, let's see, ENSV. And, and, and really, while you're doing that, really quick, welcome H. Gordon, Ground Ninja, DL DePino to Benzinga Trading School. Really glad to have you guys. Watch your inbox for more details. New members, Mark. It's very exciting. Cool. So yeah, so so I would say this could <laughs> this could be my energy watch Thanks. list for penny stocks. I would go through each one of these stocks. Um, just take a look at them, see if there anything sticks out. And when oil starts to move, then there's going to be a lot of plays here. And see, this one, for some reason, isn't as oversold as the other one, so we can cross this one off the list. So you like that oversold state. Yeah. I mean, it's one of the fundamentals of markets. Stocks that are over – okay, here's a good one. Stocks that are oversold that get to support tend to rally. All right, so this is W and T offshore. We can see down here that it's oversold. Okay, the last time it was as oversold as it was now was in November, and that proved to be a good time to buy it. And then we can also see this level here, um, which was resistance, because it's probably going to turn into support. So let's call this 270. All right. So remember what we said before, a lot of the people that sold here, when the stock goes up, they become remorseful sellers. They wish they didn't sell it. So they tell themselves, all right, I'm going to buy the stock back, but I don't want to pay a higher price for it. If it gets back to where I sold it, I'm going to buy it. So we can see that the 260 level was resistance back in December uh, and January. So there's a good chance it's going to be support now. So now we have oversold and at support stocks that are oversold and at support tend to rally so this could be something that is on the radar screen right here wti very nice all right so let's add a wti to the watch list and guys give me a one in chat are you taking these tickers down and are you following along on your charts let me know give me a one if you are taking these tickers down getting ready for the week and you understand what you're doing 
and make sure you keep the questions coming. We're putting together a watch list. We'll try to get you to, to your tickers. I know that some of you are dropping some names in here. Um, but let's try to keep it beneficial for our, for the whole group. You know, um, questions more about how we're doing what we're doing, not about just the tickers that you individually are looking at, because this is a good opportunity for you to d discover some tickers that might have a better thesis on them than what you're already looking at. Um, so lots of ones. I really appreciate the participation, guys. You guys absolutely rock. Capital Y E S from Susie. Thank you. Um, Kim, way to be, way to be. Um, <clears throat> all right. So, what else are we looking at? You want to take a look at Amazon? Someone messed about that at the very beginning. Um, yeah. And then we can look at Palantir, but, but I, I wanted to keep going through some of those energy stocks. Oh, okay. All right, so let's try EGY. Let's see how that looks. This was another one, um, another energy stock, but the levels here aren't as clear as on the one we just looked at. Look at this Valco Energy. All right, so this is kind of interesting. Because we can see when it was, it was oversold here, it was the beginning of a rally, oversold here and oversold here. Now, this is an example of a stock that's oversold, again, from the top down because oil is oversold, and it's getting close to this $2 level. There's going to be a psychological interest there. So this could be the type of thing where we say, all right, well, if this thing gets to $2, we're going to expect it to rebound, so we'll buy it. So oversold and at a level that should be support, not because it was resistance, but because it was important psychologically. Very good. And then uh, here we go. So so there you go. That's ticker EGY, guys. EGY, another energy stock that we're looking at. Looking at it's oversold on support, looking for that bounce. This is the, as they say, buy the dip opportunity. Um, and Mark, really quick, what are you thinking for a stop loss on EG? Let's say you were going to take a position on this. How would you do your stop loss? Well, the first thing I want to make clear is that I wouldn't buy this unless oil rallies. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be based off of what oil does. Um, so when oil starts to rally, this stock is going to follow. I don't really see any clear levels. So this is an instance where I would use a trailing stop. Mm -hmm. um, let's call it, uh, I don't know, 5%. So if oil rallies and the stock gets here, we buy it at say 235. If it goes 5% below 235, then we blow out of it. Um, but this is a situation where if you don't see a clear level, then you use the trailing stop strategy. That's awesome. That's awesome. That is, oh, and Edwin, welcome to Benzinga Trading School. Welcome to the party, my friend. Watch your inbox for details, your email inbox. Um, Okay, so let's let's hit Palantir. So you guys, we've got some oil stocks. If you need to go back, if you weren't writing them down, um, like like many of the others were, go back, scrub back on the video, um, and grab those tickers. Get the explanation. Look, pull them up on whatever tools you're using today. And if you don't have some tools, sign up for Benzinga Trading School and get access to everything. Um, uh, but add these to your watch list. This is what we're going to be looking at for the week ahead. And this is just a taste of what you're going to do every single morning in Benzinga Trading School. In addition to those college style lecture style courses with the back and forth and all that type of stuff. This is just every day making a trading plan. What's going on today? What happened last night? How are we going to make money during the day today? That's every day in Benzinga Trading School. Um, and just a reminder, the link is in the chat. Link is also in the description. Um, so now we got Palantir up here. What are we thinking about Palantir, Mark? Well, we can see this 2125 level is important support. Um, it was support back here, and when it broke, you know, it went into a major decline um, from 21 down to around 17. But now it's support again. Looks like the stock is just kind of consolidating or trading sideways, which is, you know, which is good because um, after a move higher, uh, you don't want something to be overbought because then it could reverse. Yep. So we got this little kind of consolidation pattern here. If you're a trader, I would say if this thing gets up to around 2750, that's probably going to be where your selling price is. Um because it was just clear support, uh, sorry, resistance the last time. Um so yeah, I would say uh you know, you want to keep an eye on the 2125 level. You want to watch 
this level too. If you're a trader, that might be where you want to take a profit. If you're an investor, um, you know, if this thing breaks, it could be a move, a sign that it's going to start a whole new uptrend. Mm -hmm. Love it. Um, so, so a couple, a couple themes that I've picked up is let the market tell you what it's about to do. Absolutely. Um, Don't yeah. guess. There you go. So we're not, we're not buying any of the energy takers that we talked about until we see that the bounce is coming in. We've got, we, we see that they've gone down. We see that they hit support. We know they're oversold, but we want to see a candle showing that the bounce is happening. We want to see indications that it's happening. And then, then we climb on, then we enter. And, and the last example um, was with a trailing stop loss of 5%. Um, uh, and that was just a case-by-case -case basis. And again, this is what a normal morning is going to look like. Pre-market sessions, getting ready in Benzinga Trading School. Um, see, with this, now going back to the oil here, right? This is the downtrend line. And remember what I said is that when markets are heading lower, the bears are in control. That's what this shows. Yes. You would not enter the trade because this thing could keep going down and down and down and down. But if it breaks this downtrend line, it's a, there's a good chance the bulls are about to take over and there's going to be some kind of a rebound. And that's when you pull the trigger on the uh, energy penny stocks. Beautifully stated. Um, and what and what do you have? Can you explain just um, uh, what what you're actually looking at and, and what the ticker is for it? This here is oil. So this is light crude oil futures. Right. And the ticker to pull it up um, on the charting tool is CL1 exclamation. CL1 exclamation um, for light, light uh, crude oil futures. Um, and as Mark, as Mark said, Mark, you're probably so used to trading these things. You just think about it in, in really uh, uh, simple terms. But um, this is just this is just how oil is performing. Um, and this is sort of the leading indicator for all the other tickers that we've talked about. Um, so. Okay, so so can you give us an idea, Mark, of uh, what a uh, a reversal might look like? Like, what would you like to see the the next day session candle look like to give you an idea that it's reversing? Um. Oh boy, there's been so many of them recently. Yep. Um, I'll tell you what. Can you guys hold on for a minute, and I'm going to go get a different notepad where I got a bunch written down. Yeah, you can do that. And while you're doing that, I think I can probably pull one up on Bitcoin as well. Um, so Mark is going to get his notepad. Um, Robert, can we go over? Okay, so Mark is gone. We can talk about the membership. Um, so I'm going to drop a link in chat for everybody because I think I don't think it's there anymore. It's it's It has scrolled up. Um, so link is in the description, but you can also check chat. Um, the membership is Benzinga Trading School. Starts off with college style courses um, uh, taught by Mark Petrino. Um, and then you graduate into an ongoing mentorship program with li a live trading room and full access to Benzinga Pro. And just for joining as a sign in bonus, this is not even built into the price or anything. This is just a sign in bonus. We're going to give you a free laptop. Um, with just one more thing that you can trade on, um, and it will have the minimum requirements. It will be a window laptop, not a Chromebook or or even like a weird brand from like AliExpress or Alibaba or something like that. Um, we're getting most of these uh, uh, from Wholesalers Direct. Um, uh, a name brand Windows laptop, brand new, not last year's model or anything like that. Um, and what you're getting with that um, uh, is, like I said, um, an initial college style semester of education zero to hero, starting with the absolute basics. This is the the, the education that I think everyone, we're, we're trying our, our best, and I really think you guys are going to be happy with the results, um, to make this the education that everyone wishes they would have had a long time ago. Um, so I highly recommend getting in. Um, and it's 70% off. So normally, um, that price is a bit higher. You can see that right here, um, about 4.6K. Um, we're getting that down to one thousand two hundred about one one two nine seven there um for per year and that's for the lifetime of your subscription you'll always have that discount you will you will always have access to benzinga pro as long as you're subscribed um uh it's it's really the best deal that we have period um uh i'm trying to think of what else i can tell you about that oh yeah and it comes with a 14 day money back guarantee um so if you're not totally happy i mean we're we're very serious about this we're very confident there's no monkeying around where there's no um 
funny business. This is a, a very serious, fantastic product that a lot of love and effort is being put into um, where we really, really want to provide the best educational experience and ongoing trading experience um, with the best chat room, the best tools for trading, the best research tools, um, the best. Um, this is like this is the discord killer. All right. Don't don't join a discord room. Discord is confusing. Um, it's not well organized and it basically anyone can do it. This has been Zynga's discord killer, live education and ongoing mentorship, um, trade ideas every single day, going over the, the market and tickers, making a watch list and strategy for the day, just like we're doing right now. So right now it's just a little taste of what we'll do every morning. Um, but then during the day, intraday, you'll have that chat room and live streaming experience, um, where you will be, uh, trading along with Mark and future educators as we bring them on board. Um, and right here, Benzinga Pro, you get that embedded right in the platform. So you get full access to the best damn due diligence tool on the planet, um, the best news feed, uh, screener, scanner, alerts. Um, uh, always know why a stock is moving, always. If you ever see a, a sudden price change in a stock, very simply just, just click Pro and then open up um, the Pro section in Benzinga Trading School's platform um, and you can find out exactly what catalyzed that move. What is the news item that caused that? Um, that is Benzing, one of Benzinga's many, many strengths that you'll get full access to for 70% off. Um, I mean, it's just, I, this is just the best there is and it's 14 days money back guarantee. Um, uh, and so I, I mean, a few folks have joined and I just want to thank them, uh, uh for being, uh, uh, part of our first, uh, uh, cohort. You guys will be the first graduating class of 2021, um, uh, uh, here starting in September. Um, so see wise more welcome, um, Edwin, welcome, welcome, Lawrence, welcome, H Gordon, ground ninja, DL DePina, SGL Romo. Um, and I'm going off of emails. That's why everyone has like cool names. Um, mini. Um, Asim, uh, Sunil, uh, Nick, uh, Tyler, um, T. Charity, um, Nay Ivis. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're going to be very, very happy with this experience. And if you don't have time, just remember we're designing this thing. We know, like, we're designing this the way that we would want it, um, would want to use it. In fact, I intend to use it, of course. Um, if you miss a live lecture, and again, these are live lectures that are based on what's happening in this market today, not last summer's market, not last year's market, not two years ago's market in a pre-recorded video. It's a, a huge difference. This is how you can actually trade today to make money today, um, not using stuff that you're going to have to search around the market to find something that applies to a completely different market. Um, so that's how we're trying to be different um, is providing that ongoing live experience. Um, but if you miss a class, and I think Mark's back, but I just want to say, if you miss a class, you will always have the recordings right here in your library. You always have access to all of the Benzinga Bootcamp live events, um, all the recordings where we bring in a whole like festival of different educators. Um, and then if you miss a class, you can also just attend the next live one. They're on a rolling basis. We will always be conducting the same. It's about 10 or 12 basic classes um, that have like level one, level two, level three that take you up through four pillars of uh, trading education education, covering all of your technical analysis, understanding trends, momentum, market principles, um, broken down into very easy to understand modules um, that you'll be able to refer back to so that when you're using this chat room with hundreds and eventually thousands of other traders that you're trading together with, probably actually one day moving markets, you're all going to speak the same language. You're all going to be have the same educational background. You're all going to be able to go to your materials and refer back to the same cheat sheets, guides, previous videos, um, and use that sort of language. Um, there's nothing else on the planet like it. Um, so yeah, guys, in the description, I'll drop it in chat one one more time. I think if if it's not there. Um, uh, for you guys to, to get access to that. But um, while I'm doing that, I'm going to bring Mark back on. Hey, Mark. Hey. Hey, so yeah, I wanted to address the, um, the question about reversal days because there have been some pretty classic ones recently, and these are actually part of my lessons. That's why I wanted to go get them. This um, BIGG Digital Assets had a classic reversal day. Now let's um, get rid of all this stuff that's confusing, and let's remember what we said. Think about this as like X's and O's on a football field of, or like soldiers running at each other and retreating. 
we can see on the blue days, the days that open mm -hmm. are the days that were up. I mean, you know, bulls are in charge, bulls are in charge, bulls are in charge, bulls are in charge. Then this is a classic, classic reversal day. The stock opened at the very high of the day. So in the in the early morning, the bulls were still in charge. They were going to op they opened the stock at a higher price than it closed at the day before. This is where it opened and this is where it closed. By the end of the day, the bull, the bears had knocked this thing all the way down past the opening of the prior day. So this one pattern here shows you that the, the bears have taken control from the bulls. So this is a reversal day or a reversal pattern. Um, it's a pretty classic example. I want to show you lumber too um, because, um, let's see. Because um, lumber was in the news a lot uh, mm -hmm. recently when when the price went, you know, kind of berserk. All right, so this is lumber, and we can see reversal days here. We have three different reversal days. So this is on May twenty first. All right, so we can see bulls are in charge. Bulls are in charge. Bulls are in charge. Bulls are in charge. <laughs> bulls are in charge. So forth, so on, so on. Finally, on this day, on May tenth, the thing opens at pretty much the high of the day. Over the course of the day, it sells off and it closes at the low of the day. That's a classic reversal day there. It shows that the bears are about to overpower the bulls. Mm -hmm. Bears are in charge, bears are in charge, bears are in charge. Now we have the opposite, a reversal day that uh, shows the bulls taking over. See the stock opened here. In the morning, the bears were still in charge. The stock opened below, or I'm sorry, lumber opened below where it closed the day before. So in the morning, if you put on the news, they would say, oh, lumber is looking lower this morning. The bulls came in. By the end of the day, they ran it up, and it closed at a higher price than the day before. Then we gapped up a few days, then we have another reversal day here, which is the same mechanics as over here. You see it gaps up. But right there in lumber, you know, we have three classic reversal days within a one-month period. Um, so, we, so I thought that was pretty interesting for people to look at. That's um, stay, stay on that one um, for a second, Mark. Um, sure. So, so pretty in chat is asking a very practical question. Um, so this is similar to the energy stocks that we've added to our watches that we built together, guys. Um, is that uh, uh, we have a downward trend starting on the the left reversal day here with lumber. Um, and then we were watching that for perhaps an opportunity to go long on lumber. Now, Mark, when you when you're you're looking at this chart, this is all fine and good. We're talking about like what reversals look like. When would you enter the trade? Um, if I was going to buy lumber, like if you were going back in time to May June, right? Because we're talking about reversals, right? May June. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, on the, on those days, um, yeah. I mean, on those days, if I if I was trading lumber. You know, after this reversal day, I would probably sell it short, like somewhere around the close, because you can tell that it's going to be a reversal day. I mean, it's not 100 percent of a guarantee, but if you're really trading this market, you can and you're watching it and you see that the stock or the lumber opened and then just sold off over the course of the day, you'd probably get into the trade somewhere around here, which would you're be talking. You're, so you're talking about going short, right? Yeah, this would be a short. Um, Very important to clarify because I think most people are just talking about going long. All right. So, I'm sorry. So, yeah. <laughs> most of us are just talking about buying low, selling high. Remember, we're beginners here, Mark. Okay. Um, so, if we're going long, like, and we're looking for that bounce, we see what, how, how are we entering on that reversal to the upside? Well, a reversal tells you that the trend is changing, right? So, it was in a downtrend, um, then it reversed. They went up into an uptrend. Um, I probably have a better example for you um, that we can look at, which is also going to be part of my lessons. Because um, I know not there's probably not too many lumber traders out here. But now this is an interesting chart here, okay? So this is this Trinity Place Holdings. Now, here's an example where we, you know, this stock opens way higher than where it closed. It closed at 270 and then it opens at three dollars. So it just starts selling off and selling off and selling off. So 
you would probably sell here. Um, the thing is, is most reversal days um, are recently have been just because of how the markets are have been have been on the top. Um, you know, the uh, the the difference would be one on the bottom would be like a spike bottom or a V bottom. Um, mm -hmm. But a reversal day, a reversal day is a quick pattern. It happens in one day by definition. <laughs> so yeah. this is the type of thing that active traders, you know, see and they jump right in on it. So if you could illustrate, uh, like, what does entry look like? Actual, practical, nuts and bolts. How are we entering this on our brokerage? Um, all right, let me look at, I just want to see um, if we could find another one because seems like most of the reversal days have been on the upside. And I think that's a lot of the Reddit traders and so forth um, buying this stuff as like news comes out. And, and welcome to Train School PML. I see you just joined. Welcome to Trading School, my friend. Um, so yeah, so it, like really what we're trying to do is get an understanding of how we're going to enter those energy, energy stocks next, next week, Mark. Yeah, I'm uh, going to have to come back to, uh, next week with some more examples. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but I just I don't have any good uh, examples right now that I can think of off the top of my head of V bottoms or spike bottoms. Okay. Um, so so um, uh, we, we got to look at BABA. Because um, April's going to lose her mind, and we we can't have anyone losing their minds here. All right, a April, I'm going to get your question answered. Um, April, you should join that. You should join the trading school. You could be that student that always asks. Like you raise your hand first, and you've always got a question. I promise we'll answer every time. Well, you know this thing looks like it's poised to rebound. Um, it's way oversold. Uh, but this could be a situation where, again, you don't want to enter the trade until this trend line is broken. If you're going to buy it, Can you illustrate so, with maybe the pen tool what that might look like. All right, so there's our downtrend line. Now this stock could be this stock could continue to trend lower, right? Because it's already oversold. Um, a lot of people were expecting it to rebound already, which it hasn't. Um, so this is the type of situation where, you know, the stock is oversold. You like the company. It's got good long-term prospects. The question is, is when, when do you buy? When do you take advantage of this weakness? And I would say once this downtrend line gets broken, that will be a sign that the bears are no longer in control and the bulls are about to take over. So again, just remember with trend lines, what they illustrate. A downtrend line illustrates the sellers are in control and an uptrend line indicates the buyers are in control. And when one of these lines breaks, meaning the stock trades on the other side of it, that could show a reversal or a potential reversal is about to happen. Good. And guys, make sure you guys stick around to the end because we might be raffling off actual cats. So if you need a cat, we might be at raffling off one of Rodrigo's cats. Um, <laughs> so guys and, and guys if, if you if you still have questions about joining uh Benzinga Trading School, check out the website. The the link is in the chat, link is, is in the description. Absolutely fire deal. Um and we got a question about refunds earlier, Mark, that I want to address really quick. And I and I, I just I remember it. I'm trying I'm scrolling up and trying to find it. I'm sorry if I, I can't find it, so I'm missing your name, but oh here we are. Robert, I knew I knew you were there. Um, any specific reasons needed to get a refund? Say I'm not understanding it, or it's hard for a novice to understand. No, if you if you want a refund and it's within the refund period, no questions asked. You're all set, and we'll send you your money back, no problem. Um, and yeah, I would just you know we're we're trying to make this if 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 this is for novices to 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 get in get their feet wet. If you're more advanced, you don't take those really early classes, um, guys. It's just like college. If you already were were the best calculus uh, 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 kid or the best at chem chemistry in high school, um, you're not going to pay attention to the first couple of days of class in your in your chem one or chem two class um, at university. Um, but 
you're going to pay attention when it starts getting later into the year um, because that stuff is going to come in, in real handy when that exam comes up. Um, that's the way I think about these courses. If you're really already ahead, check out some of the earlier classes. Um, see if you can contribute. Um, maybe just get a refresher and see about uh, uh, how we think about things. Um, but then those later classes are going to be very instrumental for anyone at, at any uh, point in their trading journey. Um, for how long is the class? Um, each class we're going to shoot for about an hour long because we're all adults here. We're all very busy. Most of us are, are have full-time jobs. Um, and some of us are, are, are going for trading full-time. Um, so we're trying not to take too much of your precious time. Each class is we're shooting for an hour long. Um, and of course, you know, if, if there's a, a conversation that needs to go longer, we go longer. Um, and then, uh, which think of it like a semester. Um, in school, it's about a semester long for the for the classes, and then you move into ongoing mentorship um, with the live trading and the daily sessions, just like this. Um, so what you're doing right now is a workshop. This is not necessarily a class. This is a workshop, and this is what you're going to get every morning when we're looking at the tickers for the day, so you can get ready to trade uh, successfully um, with Mark and with your fellow students and with your fellow traders, your graduates um, uh, on uh, on an ongoing basis. Um, Okay, so Mark, you were talking about Baba. Um, ba, 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 ba. Oh, <laughs> okay, no, I. So here you go. Uh, uh, Mark, is inflation transitory? No. Got it. <laughs> um, all right, so that's that's. Inflation is here. It's it's for real, and it's not going away. Uh, yeah, I, I, we don't. Unless you guys, have, if you guys have more questions about inflation, um, ask them now and let us know if you want us to to keep going into that. Um, but the transitory thing is is at this point sort of a meme. Um, that's just not how inflation works. Um, do you want to look at Bitcoin? Oh, we sure. already looked at Bitcoin. You know, go go back. Um, uh, who? Go back and and look at uh, uh, Bitcoin. Uh, or, or earlier in the video, look at Bitcoin. Someone else asked about Ethereum, and I think we should look at that instead, Mark. Okay. Okay, so, you know, it looks like we're just in kind of a, what they call a rectangle pattern. Oh, okay. Explain to us what a rectangle pattern is. A rectangle pattern is just a, it's just a trading range. Um, Got to have a rectangle in here somewhere. See this area right here? Okay, it's... um. Kind of forms what would be a rectangle. That's the name. Yep. So you've got so you're using your your resistance lines and your support lines to kind of draw that up. And we've got the the top and bottom lines of a rectangle. So yeah. So this show, this illustrates a trading range. Um, and you know these are usually short term patterns. And the bottom side is call it twenty nine hundred, and the top is call it thirty three fifty. So since uh, August 6th, um, the buy, there's been enough buyers down here to prop up uh, Ethereum to keep it from going lower. Um, there's been sellers up here at this uh, top of the range, enough sellers to keep it from going higher. So now we watch and see if which way it's going to break out. Um, these are what are this little triangle pattern or rectangle pattern, sorry, is what's called a consolidation pattern, or it could be a reversal pattern. The consolidation pattern means it's going to break out and go this way. Oops. Or a reversal means it's going to break down and go that way. Now, your people might be out there saying, well, gee, it's either going to go up or down. What kind of advice is that? Well, things don't tend to stay in these sideways ranges for too long. Mm -hmm. So if the top of this range breaks, the top of the rectangle breaks, the odds are the next trend is going to be up. Uh, the the bottom of the trend breaks, or I'm sorry, the rectangle breaks. The odds are the next trend is going to be down. So you can almost look at these rectangles as like kind of a like a, you've come to like a yield sign and or a fork in the road, and you just need to wait for Ethereum to tell you which way it's going to go. Um, okay, so we got two questions. One is about CPI metals, um, and the other one is about uh, an ETF for lumber. Um, cause Paul wants to go short on lumber. Um, 
there's certainly ETFs that cover lumber. I just don't know any off the top of my head. I think there's um, I think there's wood. <laughs> yeah, this is this is um. There you go. Yeah, this is the iShares Timber and Forestry uh, ETF. Nice. So April, this... April's on top of it. Thank you, April. And then we'll get to the CPI metals one, Shelly. Whoa, what is that? Is that a 100% move on a, on a clear upward trend? Yeah, this I don't even remember what this was. This was a, from a presentation I gave about inflation. Um, and we were talking about how lumber really, really soared. And this here is an all-time high. And kind of... Um, it's kind of funny. The, the way I came up with this idea or started following this was I was at um, just a local restaurant, a local deli, and there were a couple contractors there talking. And I overheard them saying how they couldn't buy any plywood anymore. Yep. There just wasn't any plywood to buy. Um, so that was probably, man, probably like around here. And sure enough, you know, the thing skyrocketed after that. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's an example of <laughs> being able to get a good stock idea at your local deli. There you go. There you go. Yeah, my dad's a contractor, so I get that firsthand for, for lumber as well, um, or secondhand anyway. Um, uh, so there you go. If you want to go short on uh, lumber, you can you're, buy puts is probably the best way to do it. Um, so so CPI metal, what was the question, Shelly? Um, I'm going to scroll up a little bit. How come CPI is high, but metals are undervalued? And I don't totally understand this one. I'm not familiar. The, with you mean the con consumer price index? Probably. So we're talking about inflation. Yeah, I'm assuming it's not a trigger, uh, a ticker. Well, you know, the CPI consists of things other than metal. There's um, there's agriculture. Um, the big thing is, uh, and I'm not sure how it links into it. I would have to check into it closer. But the big thing is, is the wage inflation, right? Because the way the regular commodity markets work is if something goes up, it becomes more profitable for producers to produce it. And then that brings extra supply into the market and that drives it down. That's just basic you know, supply and demand economics 101. But the thing is now with this inflation, this wage inflation, because people are literally being paid to stay home and not work, employers have to pay higher pr uh, prices or pay more for wages. Yeah. My stepfather owns a garbage and recycling business here in Connecticut, and he can't find people to work for him because they say, why should we come work for you when we can make more just staying home? But wage inflation is really sticky. Um, no one who's out there today is going to say, well, I want to pay someone $15 an hour, but I'm going to pay them $20 an hour because that's what it takes. And in six months from now, if you know oil goes down a little bit more, the employer is not going to say to the employee, well, guess what? I'm going to cut your wage back from 20 to 18. So wage inflation is very sticky. It's very hard for wages to come down. And wages is a big part of inflation. So there you go. Um, let's let's pull up SENS sends. Did we look at that one right? I think we, I think we did. I don't know. Can you pull it up and then, and then did we? I feel like it was SESN that we looked at. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, all right, so we this looks a little bit overbought. We can see it's a little bit above the Bollinger Band, but nothing you know, nothing earth shattering. May just want to consolidate a little bit. We can see we're in a little bit of an uptrend. So, you know, I would say if you're long this stock, you probably, you know, you probably don't have anything to worry about at this point. Might run into some resistance if it gets up to around here, around 410 or 415, um, cause that's where it had resistance at the end of June, but that's, you know, well above where it's currently trading. There you go. And guys, um, uh, if, if you're interested in grabbing that 70% off deal on Benzinga Trading School that we're running right now, um, and, and you, you want to get on a payment plan, um, perhaps pay through the year instead of uh, everything up front, um, you can contact Rodrigo at Benzinga.com. You can email him. Um, okay, so so we're, we've gotten a few questions just about um, Chinese companies um, in general. So we're talking about BABA. Um, now let's talk about the greater atmosphere of Chinese companies and um, 
you know, sort of uh, geopolitical financial uh, uh, differences in the way that that they're regulated over there in China. Um, how is that playing into your thinking about Chinese stocks? Um, well, you know, the Chinese market pretty much crashed uh, over the last few months. People aren't really talking about it as much as they as they should, but this here is just um, the iShares large cap index. And we can see in February, our large cap ETF, I'm sorry, February was trading around 54. You know, now it's down to 38. And these are the large cap stocks. So the smaller cap stocks have moved even have moved even more. Personally, I mean, I would stay out of China with my investments just because with their, um, like, look at what just happened with all the education companies, right? You have this, uh, their leader over there doesn't want people learning the real things. He just wants people learning what they want you to learn. So this was a for-profit education company, or, well, it still is. This is not making a profit, <laughs> but, um, but, you know, these companies are teaching people real things. Well, it conflicts with what they want, but what the government wants them to know. So all of a sudden they said, well, guess what? Education companies can't profit, can't make profits anymore. So this stock, you know, completely collapsed, went from $20 down to um, $190. Uh, same thing happened with TAL, which is another Chinese education company, you know? Um, so, I would kind of stay out of it just because like just because the leader's whim could make a bit could make a business non profitable just based on you know whatever his ideology is. Okay. Okay. So so a lot of a lot of variables in play, maybe more than uh we're comfortable with there with Chinese stocks. Um okay guys. Uh so I'm gonna take this opportunity. Uh, once again, to remind you guys that that until midnight tonight, you can get 70% off Benzinga Trading School, um, where you're going to get um, a, an extremely high quality college style education on how to trade stocks and options. Um, all of the lessons apply to cryptocurrency, um, Forex, futures. Um, you name it, you can make this education what you need it to be um, with live interactive courses um, that this is on sale right now, 70% um, off until midnight. Um, uh, an absolutely killer deal. Um, you're going to get full access to Benzinga Pro um, along with that. Um, this is just the best value simply put that we have here at Benzinga. Um, and just as a sign up bonus, this is not priced in or anything like that. This is just a thank you for joining. And we just want you to be successful and stay with us. Um, we're going to send you a free laptop, um, a Windows laptop with all of the hardware specs brand new um, that you need to run all of your trading programs. Um, so sign up now um, if you want to get that awesome deal, because that's going to go up. Um, so that's just your reminder there. Um, so don't say I didn't remind you guys. Um, all right. So we got a question about um, uh, September. Why is September a special month in trading? Um, well, I think historically it has to do with farming. That's that's um, you know at the end of the uh, at the end of the the harvest season or whatever September and October. Um, that's when farmers sold and got their money. Um, so I think, uh, you know, historically, that's what it goes back to. It's kind of oh. like a daylight savings time. <laughs> yeah, sure. So, okay. So then it affects commodities. And a lot of what we talk about in commodities goes over into trading stocks. Um, but September is typically a, a kind of a special month in the way that stocks. And, and also, too, it's because, you know, in August, everyone's on vacation and everyone kind of gets back uh, in September after Labor Day. That's and right. um so, you know, you have much more volume and much more interest coming into the market at that point. There you go. Um, okay, so Caroline, we covered TAL, I'm pretty sure. Um, questions, guys. If you guys don't have any more questions, oh, actually, Asim has one. Can you look at AHPI? AHPI, it's not one that I know. Um, I mean, this one, I, I can see your concern because, you know, 
this thing just had a massive nasty sell-off. Um, it looks like the momentum is kind of getting back to normal. Um, so yeah, I mean, this might have a little bit more downwards to go, but I don't think it's, I think the worst of it's probably over and you can see that this level here, um, this like 840 ish level has kind of been important, right? That was like the top here, resistance here, support here. So I would think if this thing gets down to, you know, call it 830, 840, uh, the sell off will end. There you go. There you go, guys. Um, so we still got some questions about the subscription. Um, we're throwing out tickers. Uh, yeah, I think so. So we already went through a bunch of tickers at the top. Go through the video, guys. While you still have it, <laughs> excuse me. While you still have it available to you, and grab the energy tickers that we're that we're looking at um, for a plan going into the week. Um, um, uh, Mark, I think we've covered a lot of ground during the session. Um, so hopefully it was uh, as as valuable for our viewers as it was for me. Um, uh, Mark, I think that we're, we're pretty good. If, if, if you want to take off, um, Rodrigo and I can stick around and answer some remaining questions for the folks that are still watching. All right. That makes sense. I got to go batten down the hatches because it looks like the hurricane is finally getting here. All of a Prob sudden, just, just started pouring. <laughs> Probably a good idea, Mark. All right. All right. I'll talk to you tomorrow now. Thanks a lot. All right. See you tomorrow. Um, all right, guys. Uh, uh, you, last chance here last chance um and i know rodrigo is very excited to tell you about it um oh what do we got here rodrigo i i was leaving the best for last of course neil as you know okay what do you got um, well first of all guys what you are looking at right now is a gift from the gods all right we have a huge team of developers we have like a lot of them very smart and they're working day in and day out to give you the best tools. And I just want to show you one of my favorite tools here, uh, the advanced news feed. Um, this thing is like, I mean, th there's nothing that you can compare it to. Like, for example, you guys know the power of search. You guys know the power of Google, right? To be able to find the keywords that you want to find. The advanced news feed is able to combine that, all right? Remember, this is proprietary Benzinga technology. You will not find it anywhere else. I can literally search by my keyword. I have COVID and Delta. So a lot of you guys are wondering, oh, what well, COVID's going back up? My friends, I've been I've been looking at this puppy, you know, for like months now. To me, it's not a surprise. If you're looking at a thousand different things, yeah, I understand why it might be a surprise, right, for you. But um, if you have the tools, you won't be caught off guard, right? So part of that is what we're doing here. We're giving you the tools and we're giving you the education to go with it you can give somebody um you know you can give somebody education but if you don't give them the right tools he will not find a way around it if you you can give somebody uh the tools without you know without the education it doesn't work and vice versa so we are combining both things here so that you are able to make the best out of your trading career right so because this is a career uh, some people might do it as a hobby but i'll tell you if your money's in the line uh, that's not a hobby to me. Okay. I will take that seriously. So, um, these are some of the keywords that I use. I don't know if you can see that, Neil, I know that you said your eyes weren't look, you know, doing well today, but, um, you can see there COVID Delta. Those are just some of the keywords that I use right now. Another one, you can also, you can put your own keywords, right? So there are a lot of people here that are specialized in certain industries. Let's say, for example, if you're into the steel industry, you can just put a quick keyword there for steel but i just want to show you here um the news right for example this one i'm only going to get news that in the pr it includes covid and delta so this is we are going by the uh, by the and right so covid is one keyword delta is another one as you can see you know co you you have all the news that you need to know we are in a market that is dominated by headlines if you don't know what the headlines are and you you have to go into cnbc to find out that's how you lose money. That's how you're left holding the bag, my friend. So you can see here, we know everything about J&J &J with boosters. Sorrento Therapeutics coming up with, you know, the, their protein-based COVID vaccine. AstraZeneca, remember, AstraZeneca is working on booster shots and they are, uh, 
aiming towards uh, children, right? Remember that pregnant women can get COVID and people are considering now, do we, do we give the vaccine while they're pregnant or do we wait for the baby to be born? Like this is really as deep as you can get in the weeds, my friend. Um, obviously, you know, you're looking at these types of news where COVID Delta is related. So if you see a company here that is saying that their expected revenue is going to go down because of uh, COVID Delta might be a good short position. Maybe sounds a little tempting to me, but these are just some keywords that I use. The other one that I love to use, and you can take these from me guys, and you can also use them yourself. Uh, FDA approval. I mean, how much better can this get? Like you are literally looking at what you want to trade. The market will give you literally thousands of things. It's going to throw you garbage here, garbage there. CNBC pumping that, right? Bloomberg pumping here, right? They're going to give you as many distractions as possible. Your job as a trader is to stay focused on what you like to trade, which is why Benzinga is the best tool for you. I only trade what I want to trade. I don't trade what they are pumping on the headlines. I don't chase headlines. Ultimately, that's why retail is left holding the bag. So you can see here, you can get in before everybody else gets in. You can get in at the same time that the algos get in. Why? Because algos read our PRs and they basically make trading decisions based on the on the wording that is here. So you want to get in early before the or before or during the algos. This is your best friend. FDA approval is one of the keywords that I use, but also there's a new virus out there that is hitting kids, right? Uh, with the Delta. My mom is a doctor and she's been able to explain some of this to me, but I can tell you, you don't want this, right? So RSV, look at this. I'm just going to give you a quick example. This is Moderna, right? Um, a lot of people don't even know why Moderna popped right here. Some people assume it's because of COVID. It's not my friend. That's why you have this great tool. Um, Moderna went up because the company announced that the FDA granted fast track designation for its mRNA 13. Okay, there you go. Respiratory syncytial virus, RSV. Okay, look at the dates. Third, look at the date. All right, this is how you get in, guys. This is how you get the news that you want. I only trade what I want. I don't trade what the market gives me because that's how we get distracted and lose money. And then you're left holding the bag. And then you're like, okay, you know, I'm going to sell and try to make it back. And then boom, you make the same mistake until your account just gets depleted. This is another tool that I love. Um, this is analyst upgrades. And I'm going to give you some uh, info here, guys. I've been uh, talking with some of the developers here that we have very talented individuals. Um, and we're actually working on an, on a, Analyst rankings table does not exist anywhere else in the world. You're going to know who are the best analysts that are more right than wrong, right? You want to follow the people that are right. I've seen so many, and I trade that as well. I only trade like four types of setups, guys, and none of them are headlines. Maybe here and there I'll do a momentum trade like I did with Robinhood, but that's, you know, those are really quick scalps, guys. Um, but as you can see, I have this filtered by my watch list because I trade my portfolio. I trade what I know. I don't like getting surprises or trading things on headlines because I don't know the fundamentals. I don't know what the company does. I don't know what issues they have with their balance sheet or not. So I am trading what I know. First solar, you know, they get an upgrade. Like th th these are the things that I trade. So you need to as a trader, realize what is it that you want to trade? Because if you tell me you'll trade whatever they give you, like you need to, you need to up those standards, my friend. Okay. It's like, like an alcoholic that's drinking whatever he finds on the street. No, man, you need to up those standards, right? Choose your poison, right? That's what they say. You need to choose what you're going to trade. And this is where really the tools come into place. So even if you don't understand these tools, remember, um, this is included in Benzinga Trading School. Benzinga Trading School offers you all of these tools inside, right, inside the Benzinga Trading Education. So you're basically going to get this beautiful tool that I love, right? I use it every day. I use it on the weekends. And this advanced news feed, friends, 24-7, 24-7. It does not stop. Okay, I've, I've been doing research like at, you know, two in the morning and, and breaking news pops up. And guess what? While everybody's sleeping, I'm already getting ahead of the curve. That is what it's about. Being ahead of the curve, getting the data, the information before anybody else. And as you can see, 
uh, Benzinga is just so beautiful because this is just part of the ecosystem that we have. But look at this uh, company that I absolutely love, Alfie, right? They're headquartered right here in Miami. Um, see, like literally really close to where I live. So um, Mr. Pereira, the CEO, great guy. Uh, I, I love what he's doing, respecting privacy for um, artificial intel intelligence uh, ads, right, on Ubers and Lyfts. They just got to deal with rideshare. But ultimately, I want to show you something here that only we have. This, this thing in red, this is called a Benzinga exclusive, guys. What does this mean? This means that you, right, we, right, you, uh, Benzinga Pro user, you get this news, which is coming from Benzinga. We are breaking the news. When we break out the news, obviously you're going to see this puppy by default really <coughs> quick, right? And it takes time. It takes time for this data to go to the other brokerages because there, there's a process, right? But this is why uh, the ecosystem of Benzinga is so beautiful. You have brokerages that you use like Webull, Robinhood, TD Ameritrade, Schwab, Fidelity, the Interactive Brokers, all of those brokerages basically um, you know, they work with Benzinga so that we can provide the news to them. Why? Because Benzinga is a financial media company. We have all of the relationships out there to get the best news at the fastest speed. So when you see this, these red um, news, that is Benzinga exclusive. And that means that we broke the news. So you're going to get this very, very early on. And this is from any sort of stocks. Um Johnson Johnson. I mean, you can see, uh, you can see really how the, and this is the second time, right? The first time that we did this um, with this company right here. Uh, I mean, you can see we've been doing this for a while because, because it works, right? 2 million buyback His beautiful announcement. Um, I mean, who wouldn't, who wouldn't be bullish on that? Look at that movement. Look at that beautiful movement Four, three, three dollars to 20 something dollars. This is why people love Benzinga pro. OK, people who use Benzinga Pro pretty clearly, they like to make money. I don't blame them. Right. We give them the tools to do that. We give them all of the tools to pretty much be successful. Right. But on top of all of this, guys, I want to show you something else because it does get better. Yes, this is not QVC, but it the deal is just that good. All right. We have the only scanner that is open at 4 a.m. All right. Let's be clear. I've used all these brokerages out there that you guys are probably still experimenting with. I've already gone through this, all right? I'm already at the point where I just pick the best and I want to use the best. This is the only scanner that, first of all, look at all the customizations you can do, right? Gainers and losers. You can do gainers if you want to, you know, scalp. You can do losers if you want to short. On top of that, you can change by session. The only scanner open pre-market, four in the morning until 9 30 a.m if you're in robin hood you can't even pay you can't even make a trade till 9 a.m okay with this you're going to be able to know what's moving before anybody else does because i use td ameritrade trial fidelity i can tell you their scanners are, are not the best okay this one's obviously better but they're not even open there is truly no competition here these scanners are not available anywhere else so you will be able to get it before anybody else can see the movement you can obviously change the market cap if you want to look into small caps, uh, price, you know, as well. I mean, really, this allows you to choose what you want to trade instead of just taking it as it comes, whatever they give you. So, um, I mean, and after hours, right? So you can see, you can trade. There are people that only trade pre-market and after hours. Why? We made this scanner thinking about every single user that we have. And we know that many of you guys are still in the nine to five grind. I understand. I like to trade too, and I have to do this as well. But, you know, with the tools, it's possible. If you have the right tools, it's possible, right? I wake up early. I, I use my scanner. I'm using the pre-market scanner here, as you can see. I like to uh, look at small caps with uh, under 10 bucks. And, you know, I'm trading while everybody else is just waiting for their scanners to go up at 930. But remember, after hours as well. So if you do have a full-time job, this is made for you. You want to get in early, you're a contractor, you're a contractor, you're out at four in the morning out of your house and you're already going to job sites here and there. So if, if you get off by like 2, 3 p.m., which is understandable, usually around that time it is, um, you will be able to focus on after hours trading. The best part right here, you've got the details tab. So, I mean, let's say I want to look at gainers, right? I mean, so as an example, this is a pretty popular one. I've seen this around um, Cassie. 
So you're going to be able to get all the information here. Quotes, the bid, the ask, the spread, the session volume, right? Average volume. This is so important, guys. This is how you see the demand is higher than usual. Okay. Take notes, right? Company and industry. You look at the peers. You look, you do comparisons with them. On top of that, you get breaking news, SEC filings. Like I'm doing things here that without having pro, I would have need would have had to have like 30 tabs open. Okay. If you like to waste time and get in late, that's up to you. I like to get in early. I like all my tools. They're available one click away. I can see what's going on, reading the official filing, right? I don't trade on rumors. I don't listen to, I don't go to pump and dump chat rooms, you know, like, like uh, Reddit and all that stuff. I get my information from the source guys. And I think it's about time that you guys start doing that because it is going to be, you know, the best thing that can happen to you. You can go over the peers and you can compare, right? You, you can compare their price to equity ratios, their forward revenue ratios. You can compare their balance sheets, their income statements, their debt to income ratio. You can go wild and crazy with the numbers there. Um, on top of that, you get the earnings, shareholders, ownership, institutional ownership, inner ownership. Like, like I said, I would have had to have gone to like 25 different websites to get each and every part of this. So on top of that, when you're trading, guys, I know that some of you guys don't even look at what the company does. You're just looking at, oh, my God, it's up 50 percent. It's up 100 percent. We made this little section right here for you, for your traders, right, for your scalpers. On top of that, you can go to the homepage. If they're a biotech company, I want to check the pipeline, okay? Check the pipeline. Check the company. Go to their investor relations page. Um, see what they're all about, right? See how their website is designed. Is it sketchy? Is it a legit company, right? Um, if you want to do the research. Obviously, when you're scalping in the morning, you don't have a lot of time to go in and read their mission statement and see what they're all about. But you will have this that will tell you in general, simple terms, what they do, what they specialize in. So you have a general idea of what is going on. On top of that, on top of that, you have trading the charts here. And these are some of my favorite charts, to be honest, uh, especially because it has been inside Benzinga Pro and I don't have to buy another subscription um, for this, right? Because Benzinga Pro comes with all of this together. And as you can see, obviously you can do your charting here. Right. You can look at the important levels, weekly charts, you know, craft your weekly support resistance. If you want to go a little bit on the longer side as well, you can pull out the monthly, you know, the daily as well. And you can for scalpers. Right. You got the one minute charts. You got the five minute charts. You, you can do all this stuff pretty much like within a matter of seconds. But um, it, it really is an amazing tool. Right. This is included in Benzinga Pro. Um, this is my calendar earnings. As you know, I don't like to chase stocks that have run up already into their earnings. So what do I do? I have a calendar, okay? And I know what is coming up and what is not coming up. And I can already start looking at what do I want to trade? And I can see as well, what is the rating on the analyst, right? Are analysts bullish? Are they bearish? You can get a, you know, you pretty much, and this is filtered by my watch list, right? So as well, you have earnings monitor here. You can change the dates if you want. I mean, Sonos, Robinhood, all this stuff here. You know, you can modify it by the date. So don't wait till you hear about something on CNBC. Be proactive. Use the tools that we're giving you because this is really what's going to help you get ahead. There's no other way around it, guys. It's not easy, okay? I wish I could tell you, just go do a couple things and you're going to make money. That ain't happening, okay? I'm sorry. It, it takes time. It takes effort. You have to put in the time with the tools so that once you master them, you will be ahead of the curve by far, by far. And, you know, these are just little, little things I'm touching on. But, you know, this sales tool, another one of my favorite ones, I can look at mock trades. I know that there were so many comments here about dark pools. I'm going to tell you guys, this is able to capture dark pools. Okay. So, dark pool basically means that they're they're exchanging it they're trading it between themselves and you know they kind of like are doing it for a purpose right with this you're able to see and i'm going to filter this by my watch list okay so you can filter this by whatever you want right by exchanges by the float by the country i know a lot of you guys might not want to buy china hey this is for you okay on fundamentals you can also do this on fundamentals price changes sectors 
watch list right here. But you can see right here, block trades, BABA. And now a lot of people are talking about BABA. Look at that. 1.6 million shares at 160. Above the ask. Why is this important, guys? I want you to start reading beyond the tape. I want you to start reading between the lines, okay? Somebody's buying this and they're paying more than than the than the bid price right here. You can see they're buying it above the ask. I mean, that should tell you enough right there. Then you got another trade for 2.2 mil. So, I mean, you can be bullish or, or, or bearish on this company. It's, it's really up to you. I'm just showing you how you can use the tools to your advantage, right? Some people like to follow big money. I mean, there's no other way to follow them than with this particular tool, you know, and th this is just one signal, like I said, but these signals are confirmations, guys, okay? You need to use this as confirmation. This cannot be the sole factor why you are using this tool. Uh, the other thing that I do here is that I'll go to the 52-week highs and the 52-week lows for a very important reason, right? So we've got support and resistance, right? But what's the granddaddy of all of them, right? The one-year support and the one-year resistance. If it breaks that bad boy, you know there is some strength there, right? And you can, you can get some confirmation with the relative strength index, which we do have here on our charts in Benzinga Pro. So, you know, if I see a stock that is just, it just broke down its 52-week low, number one, I will, check, I will check the news. Remember that Benzinga is the king of news. We, we go around giving news to, like candy to everybody, okay? Because we, we run that game. It's pretty clear, right? So you check the news, verifiable news. You check if there was an SEC filing. You check if there's something going on, which this is the best place to do it because I've used these other brokerages that I'm not going to mention, and I've seen stocks move like insane amounts, and there's no news. And then you go in there and make a dumb trade, not even know why it's moving. That's not smart, guys. That's why you need these tools. So you see ATNX. I don't know the stock. I mean, I've never seen it or heard about it, to be honest. But from what I'm seeing here, um, you know, we're looking that it passed this, its 52-week low during after-hours session. Okay. Right now, what do we have here? We have some SEC filings. Obviously, you know, we could get into this, but, you know, just for showing purposes, you know, right there, RBC Capital maintains outperform, lowers price target. So they got a downgrade, right? Another downgrade. They got two downgrades. I mean, would you be bullish? This will probably be a good short candidate if you ask me, because everybody on Wall Street says it's says it's you know going down, obviously. And you can see the chart broke a 52-week low. 52-week low, guys. That's a whole year of people defending that that uh, damn line, and they just gave up. They gave up. So you need to you need to pretty much take advantage of these market swings. And these are just these are just like this is a C on the droplet, guys, of what you can do with Benzinga Pro. This is really a C. Like it's just a C and tell right now. There's so many things you can do here, um, especially with the advanced news feed where you can filter this by whatever it is that you want. Um, I mean, you guys can even give me a keyword. I don't know. Let's do uh, I know that some people here, you know, they might trade like agriculture. Right? I want to look at chicken. I want to look at chicken. Chicken soup for the soul entertainment acquires the green wave. Guys, you can literally put anything here and you will find something to trade. Like, I don't want to get too crazy with the keywords, but you see what I'm saying, right? You, you can look at chicken. You can look at steel, like the actual, like, you know, commodity. Um, let's see. What's up with Cleveland Cliff shares today? I'm going to tell you what's up here. This is an article that was written by one of the hundreds of editors that we have at Benzinga.com, uh, Benzinga Pro. Uh, you know, we have hundreds of editors, writers worldwide that are basically – like scanning the markets day in and day out and they're bringing you the news as it happens so um this is this already moves clf because of this but um you know we have uh, a department called whim like why is it moving you know there's there's a lot of great people there that i personally know that they work very hard to make this the best tool for you and you know, when a stock is moving we have someone manually go in there and basically pin down the reason why it's moving and that'll tell you why it's moving right you don't have to go and dig if you're scalping you want that speed right so that is manually done okay that is not automatic 
And that is something that is also licensed out to brokerages. I don't, I'm, I'm sure you've seen this in other brokerages that why is it moving? That's Benzinga, baby. All right. We're everywhere. So, and I get even questions. Hey guys, I saw this, um, I saw this, this little tool in another place. And I'm, and I had to explain to them that, yeah, well, that's actually Benzinga, but we do license that news out. Obviously you do want to, you know, purchase it from the source because you get the, the best deal out there. But um, on top of this, guys, I want to show you this beautiful thing. Watch list, my watch list here. I have about 200 damn stocks in every single sector. I'm fully diversified. I have my own S&P, guys, all right? I have my own S&P, and I, and I make it on what on my terms. So this is a pretty big watch list for you to be able to keep track of, right? Well, this is the beauty. This is the beauty of Benzinga Pro, where you can actually have your watch list, your advanced news feed, which I do. And I have it filtered by my watch list, right? And I ignore the noise. I just want to know what's going on with, with the companies that I'm interested in. So <clears throat> as you can see, um, you know, Boston Scientific Standards. And we, and we are making some new things here, guys. I don't know if you've seen this before. Price targets, analyst earnings. I told you we're coming up with new tools. And, you know, that's, that's part of what we're doing here. You can check out BLRX. This is a company that Kathy Wood like just went all in with this puppy. I think that what, uh, I mean, I'm not going to go into what they do, to be honest, these biotechs do a lot of stuff, but you know, be careful with them. But you know, you're able to pretty much do your research, find your stocks anywhere you find them, except, you know, these, these Reddit chat rooms, but do your due diligence here, do your due diligence where you can actually find the real news with no spin. The problem these days, guys, people give you the news with their opinion already made up. You need to be able to get the facts so that you can make your own decisions and not get baby fed things, right? Ultimately, there are you know news organizations out there that really their job is just to sell headlines. Um, they don't care about you. They care about the big money that sponsors them. Benzinga is the total opposite. We are here for the retail trader. We are here for the small trader. That is why we're giving you these tools so that we can leverage the playing field. Alfie, as you can see, quarter two earnings unconfirmed because they could change it in 12 days, right? So you might want to start building up a position. And if you were to go here and read the news that Benzinga broke, okay, that Benzinga broke three acquisition targets, okay? Three damn acquisition targets. And they even made um, additional deals with Rideshare. So, I mean, look, you can even find these other articles that we write, you know, like what's happening in Miami, what leaders have to say, the future of tech. Like you want to get all in, guys. Look at this one. This is the news that really made it pop right here. Alfie on board's major brand for its DOH platform that could be worth millions. And this, they did it with uh, pretty much right share, right? So um, do you want to know what you're trading besides just hearing it from like rumors? This is it. And we haven't even gone into the squawk, my man. Squawk uh, equity here. This is a this is pretty much like a radio, right? You can literally be walking around, just jogging, doing your exercise in the morning, or whatever, right? If, if you're doing some work, you can literally just put an, a headset on and just hear the breaking news as it happens. Because at the end of the day, remember, it's a lot faster for somebody to tell you X Y Z company will acquire one two three company. Okay, you already have that information. That information has not hit the tape yet. It hasn't come out in a PR. So this is basically news that, you know, the, uh, Charlie has so many sources. He's been doing this for so long um, and, and he's well known. So people do reach out to him as well and stuff. And uh, that way you're able to get in even before the PR comes out. I've seen it so many times. You can literally get in before the damn PR comes out. So this is the squawk, right? You have uh, the screener, which literally is, I mean, right here, you can do, you can screen symbol by market cap, price to equity ratios, financials, trend following, right? You want to see what's trending. There's just so much here, guys, that you can do that at the end of the day, you need to pick what you want to trade. I was telling you that I only trade what I want to trade. I'm showing you some of the things that I like to trade. And like I said, I don't get distracted with the headlines. I don't get distracted with CNBC or Bloomberg or Yahoo or anything like that. I want my my news like straight. I don't like no spin. I hate spin. This is why people come to Benzinga for news. This is why Alfie comes here for news. This is why so many other hundreds of companies come to Benzinga 
because they want to be able to reach the, the retail trader, okay? They want to be able to reach you guys. They want to be able to give you the real news with no spin, and that's why they come here. But on top of that, you have, you have so many tools here. Something I like to do, you know, I like to uh, find the sector here, and I get the news here on, on each sector. Um, you know, you can have your watch list here and just get the breaking news from your watch list, right? And you can pretty much get anything that you can imagine. Vaxart, you know, Abbott Labs, Sense. This is a different, this is not the ones you guys, this is not the one that you guys are talking about. This is one that's creating like a, um, it's creating like a diet for you to check your, if you have diabetes, you can check it without an injection or a pin, you know, a pinch. Literally all you do, and this chart looks so beautiful. Literally all you do is you put like a sticker on your arm and it, and it tells you your blood your blood glucose level. How do I know all my damn stocks so well, huh? Because I have been Zynga Pro because I have the best research tool out there to know what's going on, okay? I'm looking at news about sense. I already know what, what this does. I already know what they do. I already know the background. I've already done my research. Once again, guys, you have to put in the time. And now I'm looking at this beautiful chart and I'm probably going to start a position tomorrow, uh, Neil. Rodrigo? We're giving them way too much Benzinga Pro. Here's a, here's a, what I think, Rodrigo. You you have put so much time into explaining, like just like a fraction of what's available on Benzinga Pro, guys. You guys have to take the next step. If you want to get more of this and you want to explore more of it, come join us. The link is in the description. The link is in the chat. We've explained a lot today. We've gone through a lot together today. Um, so the next step is on you. The ball is in your court. Um, if you want to become a better trader, if you want to have the best shot on goal for being more successful, if you want to have a clear strategy, if you want to go into every week and every day, starting in the morning before the market opens with clear trade ideas, if you want to feel like you're in control and not at the mercy of chaos, sign up, try it out. Benzinga Trading School comes with everything that Rodrigo just went through and more. And it's 70% off today until midnight. It's the best freaking thing there is for traders. The, so the link is in the chat. The link is in the description. The ball is now in your court. Invest in yourself. Join us at Benzinga Trading School. Um, and I know, Rodrigo, there are a couple people um, that are shooting you emails because they're even talking about it here. Um, yeah, Dr. Yeah. Dr. K, I saw, I saw you join. The, welcome to Benzinga Trading School, my friend. I will see you there. Um, what is your morning setup? You have to join to find out. If, you're, uh, if you are a Benzinga Trading School, member, if you are a student or a graduate, you will get daily sessions with your mentor where we are going to go through Benzinga Pro, pick the sectors that have strength, go into those sectors, find the best stocks for the day, look at their charts and find the best setups for the day. Entry, exit, stop loss, options or common stock, all of that. Dr. K, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, <laughs> There you go. <laughs> um, um, all right, Rodrigo. I think that that we've given enough guys, and now it's up to up to you. It's up to you guys watching to take the next step. Um, Rodrigo, I really want to thank you for your time, um, and I want to welcome Hi Mayday One for joining. Congratulations! That was the last one, that last minute one that just came through. If you guys have questions, we'll stick around for. What do you think, Rodrigo? Do you want to do five more minutes? We'll do five minutes to stick around for questions. It, it's up to them, but I just want to do a quick illustration, Neil, because sometimes it's, it may be a little hard to come across really what we're trying to say. So maybe this can simplify it a bit, okay? Yeah. Trading is hard, so that's why you're going to have to need uh, – you're going to need these, right, to, to get into trading, okay? You're going to need some of these, okay? Uh, now, if think, you think make bad trades, you will go bananas. Do a banana. Okay. okay, you got a banana. All right. Which is why we need to focus on making the cheese meal. Oh, geez. Um, all right. <laughs> all right. So uh, the carrot top of of Benzinga. Uh, I I think you illustrated that that beautifully, Rodrigo. That was remarkable. Um, uh, Free Frank, what's the total? What is the total? 
Um, look at the look in chat. Look in chat. Benzinga Training School normally uh, like forty five hundred. Now twelve hundred and some change. All right, seventy percent off. You get full access to Benzinga Pro. You get the mentorship. You get the live college style courses. You get all access, all the materials, your PDF cheat sheets with chart patterns, how to read candlesticks, all of that type of stuff. That you can always reference back to is yours to keep forever. Um, and then you're also going to get your ongoing uh, chat room, your ongoing live streams, your daily setups every single day, <clears throat> and just just setups just sent right to you. So you're just earning while you learn and you're trading on an ongoing basis. So if you're serious, I think twelve hundred dollars and some change, man. I spend that much on on just buying options. You <laughs> how know, much was finance tuition. How, how much was the? Man, my my graduate degree was like almost two hundred grand. So like, come on. Um, so it's, it's great. Um, uh, yeah, Rodrigo, it looks like that one works. Um, yeah, it, it is. It truly is an unbelievable deal. I forgot this one. I forgot the blindfold guys. What, wait, what does the blindfold do? Well, if you don't know what, what you're, trading, you're, you're trading blindfolded basically. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Took me a while to get all this, have this food all here for like three hours guys. So I just, I had to pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, I, I would, I want to see more props every every presentation we do. I want to I want to see more creativity coming from you because that was incredible. Okay, I'll, I'll be shopping now. I'll be shopping now. Shop, the, the yeah. <laughs> um, all right, guys, we're sticking around for five more minutes. What should I set up? What 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 should a setup wise for a screener? Um, so so would you mind, Rodrigo, just just opening up? Uh, how does Benzinga do screeners? Um, and, and there, it depends on what you're looking for too. Yeah. It depends um, the kind of trade you're trying to make. So like the first yes. question that I would really ask myself is like, what do I want to do? Right. Because if you want to do everything you want, you, that's really where people get distracted. So you have to come to terms with really like also your personality, your risk profile. So like some people are not comfortable losing more than $200. Some people are not comfortable losing more than uh, 20%. Some people are, are not comfortable holding a stock that when it breaks a certain support or important technical level, that's the first thing, right? You need to figure out really what your, what, what your limit is, right? So second of all, you need to find out if you want to trade pre-market, regular market hours or after market. Yeah. Um, as, as far as like the what's moving scanner, this uh, little puppy right here, it's so basic, like literally, like, I mean, it's so good yet so powerful and nobody else has it. So consider yourself lucky if you are here watching this. So um, like I said, this is the only, and I know a lot of you guys just joined, but I want to let you guys know that this is an insane tool, right? The only pre-market scanner open at four in the morning. So like I'll choose gainers, okay? And I will do pre-market because I, I can only trade pre-market because I'm usually busy talking to you guys. So for this <laughs> session... And I choose my sectors, right? So right now, maybe energy. I'm not saying it's hot, but you know, like you can pick whatever you want. Healthcare is probably hot with Delta. Um, so I pick the market cap, right? If I want to do, you know, two bill maximum market cap. Obviously, the lower the market cap, the easier it is for you to get, you know, like uh, these insane moves. However, you need to be more careful with that because it works both ways volatility works both ways if nobody told you it works on the way up and it works on the way down so you have to be very careful careful with low uh, market cap stocks and i like to pick stocks five dollars or below and as you can see this uh scanner you, i mean you can see it updating itself look at this thing damn 433 percent. i have no idea what the hell they do but like i would have catched this on the scanner if i you know if it would have been, wow, that's a pretty big move. But, you know, this is the what's moving scanner. But th look, guys, there's a lot of information here. I don't want you to really forget about the, the main uh, thing here, the education with Mark Petrino. Mark Petrino is a CMT. I know a lot of money managers, but I can tell you, I don't know a lot of CMTs because these people, like they are the ones, you know, the term technical analysis, it comes from the technicians. That is why they are certified by the CMT association so that they are able to, you know, go in this journey so when it comes to charts when it comes to technicals when it comes to you know that's one thing being a cmt is one thing working at a fund that operates over 20 billion dollars in assets that is a separate thing and that's what mark is bringing to the table mark petrino not only is a wonderful human being i've i've talked with him 
for a while and he is so excited to get all you guys you know in the classroom learning digesting the news understanding what is happening in the market remember he used to work at a pretty big fund like he makes everybody on cnbc look short except for like two people but ultimately that is the kind of people that you want on your corner that is who you want to learn from somebody that has been in big money I'm not talking once again i'm not saying millions i'm saying billions okay this man knows all the strategies he knows all the tricks he knows everything that hedge funds and investment firms are doing how they short how they cover what's the time they do it you know how to protect yourself against it and all the technicals that, that you're going to be seeing with mark petrino they apply to any asset category because at the end of the day the market is basically moved by i would say three things fear greed and news you get the news in benzinga pro but fear and greed these are psychological uh things that you know, we have right as humans we all have them obviously like as retail traders we tend to trade more with emotions and the reason is because we don't have the education and when you don't know what the hell you're doing you're going to fall back to your instincts right this goes back to like survival of the fittest right like mark was saying we were running from saber tooth back in the day like this is exactly what i'm talking about now if you don't have the tools or the education and you're down like on a position or something like that, you you really will be only guided by emotions. And then what's going to happen? You're going to go to these public chat rooms to confirm, you know, these emotions or not confirm them. But at, at the end of the day, you're doing exactly what they want you to do. You're doing exactly what big money wants you to do. To be emotional, to buy the top, to buy those calls for he strikes out of the money. Why? Because they make money out of you not being educated. It's time you start looking at the stock market like a, as an adult. There's more than buying and selling going on, guys. There's a lot more going on behind the scenes. And you familiarizing with that is really the next step for you to take your trading career to that level. There's no way around it. It's not just buying and selling. That's the most basic of, of really what we what the market is about. You have to learn as the structure of the market, the psychology of the market. And Mark knows that so well to the point where he wants to help others. He wants to level the playing field. You know that this data back in the day before uh, Jason Rasnick founded the company, it was a totally unleveraged market. Only the big companies, only the big funds had access to this data. And when Benzinga came, when it was created, it was created with one sole purpose, and that is helping retail traders, leveraging the playing field. Data is the new oil, and data will always be the new oil, especially in this market, especially when you're talking about trading stocks. Of course, data is, is better than oil. Now, you need to have the right tools for that. And this is, like I told you, with the Benzinga Pro, that's just a, a droplet in the sea a droplet in the sea. We keep adding more and more things. And you can see the portal right there where uh, Neil is showing you pretty much, you know, the setup of how it would be. You're going to have a chat room with Mark Petrino. Like how lucky are you guys? You're going to have live classes with Mark Petrino. If you are nine to five busy, no problem. The, 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 um, the courses are always going to be there, right? So we'll upload them so that you can review them. Mark will give you a PDF for every course. So you will get materials for the course. You will get a presentation on the class. You will have a Q&A on the class. You will get, you know, evergreen material from Mark as well, because education is a lifelong process. I can tell you that from experience. Okay. My mom's a gynecologist and she's been a gynecologist for like 30 or 40 years. She's always taking continuous education to find out what are the new medicines, what are the new treatments out there, because she wants to provide for her patients. Same thing for lawyers. My dad's a lawyer. He has to keep taking certain education if, if laws change. As a trader, things will change as well. Hedge funds had to learn about meme stocks. Hedge funds had to learn about tendies and diamond hands and understanding that there is no logic behind this, just buying the damn stock because you like it. Hard to understand, right? But they had to learn. So they are doing that as well. Retail is way behind the curve, which is why we need to educate ourselves, guys. Nobody is going to educate uh, you for you, right? Nobody, you can go to school, you can pay the tuition, but if you don't, you can't even show up to class. But if you're not learning, who do you think is, is hurting? Like you are being hurt more than anybody else. Because if you don't educate yourself, the truth is somebody who did 
will be on the winning side of the trade when you when you start trading. Like for example, if you if you think you got it all figured out, you don't need no education. That's really the the most vulnerable the most vulnerable time, the most vulnerable position that you could ever be in. Because a hedge fund can come in and look at a beautiful chart and say, "Yeah, I'm gonna dump 10 million on this. I'm gonna short it to the ground." Bam. And guess what? Your beautiful chart with higher higher highs and higher lows, that just doesn't matter anymore. So you also need to be prepared for those things. So that's why Mark Petrino is going to show you all this stuff. This is something that you're not going to learn from, from the big boys because they don't want you to learn it. Like how many times do we have to go through this, guys? Retail is left holding the bag for a reason. They pump the stock, they start shorting it to the ground, and then retail sells, they lose all their money, and then they buy it back when it's down. How many, like, we need to work together, guys, as a community, which we are, an international community of traders, investors, option traders, crypto traders, forex traders, anything, you name it. I met a guy who trades cows the other day. Like, literally, Benzinga is a community that is built around retail. As you can see, this presentation is not uh, for Citadel, right? This presentation is for Shelly, for Evans, for Beatrice. Beatrice, hey, how you doing, Beatrice? Um, it's for J-Man, you know, for Kate, for Caroline, for Renita. This is for you guys. It's for retail, okay? And just shout out to my mom and dad who are watching. I'm going to get you guys some Benzinga Pro swag too, guys. There you go. And some bananas. Uh, hey, guys. We said we would stick around for five minutes. So this is over five minutes. Do you have any final questions about Benzinga Trading School or Benzinga Pro, which comes with it? Um, if not, I know Rodrigo has a bunch of emails from you folks that um, some of you are really anxious to hear back from him on. Um, so let us know. You've got us for just a few more minutes. Um, I'm dropping the, the link to sign up. This is absolutely the best deal you're ever going to get. Yeah, there you go. There you go. It's in the chat. Um, ba, 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 ba. what is the schedule like again, Nick, um, live classes, live classes, um, are going to be, it will vary. So, so with our, our, our first cohort during our first semester, um, we're going to find the best times, but right now we're scheduling them around lunchtime and after market close, um, to accommodate people that have full-time jobs. Um, to most, most of the people that we imagine or the majority of people that, that are joining Benzinga Trading School are going to be working adults or professionals of some type. Um, uh, so we want to make sure that they're able to maybe get away from work, um, pull out their phone, to watch the lecture, participate in the chat, um, all that type of thing. Um, and if you miss it, you've always got the video right as soon as you sign in. In case you missed it, you've always got the video of the classes that you missed. Um, and then... Um, if you want to go to a, a, a live class, maybe the video is not interactive enough for you. Um, the, the classes are rolling. Um, so, so every couple of weeks, Mark will be doing the same uh, levels or a technical analysis part one class on Tuesdays at 1 p.m., for example, or Tuesdays at 12 p.m. Um, he'll always be doing that. So you can just attend the later one. Um, and it's all the, the, the purpose of us doing that is that it's always using live market examples for trading now, like like now. Um, um, so you can trade along with it and make money. And then you graduate uh, from those classes once you complete them. You completed all your modules. You have your absolute uh, strong foundation for trading um, and investing. Um, you graduate into the ongoing mentorship, um, which is uh, the chat, the, the daily workshops in the morning, um, uh, the market breakdowns uh, over the weekend, plan for the week ahead, all that type of stuff, and full access um, to Benzinga Pro, which um, uh, Rodrigo has been doing a great job of, of describing to you guys um, right there in Benzinga Trading School, right in the platform. Um, so this is an ongoing thing. Um, thinking of trading, there's no really good trader successful trader um, that doesn't think of themselves as just a lifetime student of the market. Um, and that's the idea. Um, uh, we want you to graduate from these modules, be very confident, but we want you to stay in an area um, where you're with like-minded people and you're always updating your strategy to reflect what the market is giving you. Um, because the market of 2021 will not be the same market of 2022. The market of this winter will not be the market, same market as this coming, this next summer. Um, so it's very important that you're in a space where you're having access to people and tools and data, live information that's keeping you on your toes and able to react. If you are, are very serious about using the stock market or other financial markets to, to make money, if you're serious about it, this is what we were making this for. Um, is for you to be successful there. And it's it's just 
twelve hundred dollars and some change a year. Um, and honestly, like I said before, I mean, I spent that much on on Starbucks call contracts like on Wednesday um, without really thinking about it. Um, the returns on that were OK. The returns on that were like two hundred and fifty bucks. I got out kind of early, um, but the returns on a an ongoing class, an ongoing trading room mentorship trade ideas every single day um i think are, are going to pay a, a lot more dividends than that single um uh purchase of a handful of call contracts um so i i just i, I think you're really crazy if you don't grab this deal before it expires at midnight um uh, got some new members there neil like four or five in the past couple of minutes definitely give let's give them a shout out there let me refresh oh yeah so so jay biz i'm not sure if i got to you um tyler nick um, we've got Sunil. Um, let me flip the page. Flip the page. All right, here we go. Um, NGO8 um, uh, Kish UV. Um, again, I'm going off your emails here. I don't. I, I don't want to dox your full names. Um, Pinder and Still Report um, and uh, Suiho um, uh, K- Kalali. Um, guys, thank you for joining us. I'm very very happy. Uh, to have you in Benzinga Trading School. And I can't wait to start with you this September. You will watch your inbox, watch your email inbox um, for access instructions. There you go. Um, on cue for access instructions to Benzinga Pro. That's what you'll get right away. Classes will start in September. And then that's when you'll get um, full access to the platform that we've shown you, which is going to be the brand new Benzinga Trading School platform. Brand spanking new application, all new. You'll carry over your sign in. Um, and you'll be able to to access that very, very easy, easily and seamlessly um, on your phone, on your computer, or if you use the new laptop that you get absolutely for free just for joining um, as a thank you um, uh, for joining, um, you can access it right there. Um, very, very easy. Um, so guys, 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 anything else? I think that we covered all the questions. So so Rodrigo, I think it's, it's time to wrap this up. We spent a lot of time here with folks. Hopefully, guys, this was as edifying for you guys as it was for me. Um, I really enjoyed uh, getting to share what we're working on with you guys and, and give you guys the opportunity to get in at an absolute fire sale killer price. Um, it was great having Mark here um, to go over uh, the week ahead. Again, remember what Mark was talking about is that um, energy – stocks and he when he's talking about energy he's talking about predominantly like oil so we're talking about like older style energy we're not talking about like renewable energy um in this case uh uh, energy because of of where oil is today being in a state of oversoldness or oversold is looking like it might be a buy the dip opportunity so we're looking at the oils oil futures the price of oil on um our charting tools um and looking for signs of a bounce off of support and then that's when we're going to start looking at entries into the tickers rewind the video if you missed them if you didn't write them down rewind the video the exact energy tickers that we talked about that have perfect setups right now if we get that bounce on monday um so that's what we're watching for and guys remember that workshop session um is just a taste that's that's your preview that's your trial of what the workshop session is like every single morning um you can tune in you can not tune in it's totally up to you you're an adult um, but you will have full access to doing that every single morning with Benzinga Training School. So I really, really hope you guys join because it sounds like it's going to be an awesome, awesome opportunity for everyone to get better at trading and being more successful in the market. Um, so, Rodrigo, thank you so much um, for going through uh, 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 Benzinga Pro in such great detail because it's such a, like it's such a robust platform. I know that you could probably talk for like another day and a half about it, um, but yeah. but you got through a lot. Um, so yeah, so without education you lose. That's what that's what Wayne says. So there you go. Um, thank you, Wayne. Thank you, Wayne. We, I yeah. agree that Mar- that Mark is a fantastic teacher. Um, very down to earth. No Lamborghinis here. All right, we're not talking about any any yachts or anything like that. We're talking about getting down to business, trading, investing as a job, making money with it. All right, we're not talking about lotto tickets. We're not talking about. Um, you know, uh, uh, making one trade that's going to change your life forever. That's silly. We're, ta- we're talking about learn to trade like a professional trader who trade on a floor at a hedge fund, managing billions of dollars with what actually works. No BS, no goofy stuff. Um, uh, 100% just good uh, education that you can trust and hang your hat on um, and go into the markets as a more confident trader. Um, so there you go. Who won the free cat raffle? Are we giving away a cat still, Rodrigo? You might have changed your mind. I wouldn't blame you if you did. I don't know what you're talking about, Neil. 
There you go, guys. Um, so, guys, thank you very, very much for tuning in. Once again, that link is in the description. It's also in the chat, so you can get a, a huge deal on Benzinga Trading School. Um, absolute, absolute fire sale on, on Benzinga Trading School classes starting in September. Full access to like basically every technology that, that, that Benzinga has. Um, and then Linda, watch her on email. You'll be able to get that. Um, and then if you have any questions, email or call Rodrigo. Um, so with that, guys, I think it's time to sign out. Yeah. I mean, if it's possible, I just want to say one one quick thing here, Neil. Um, uh, before, guys, just so you guys know, before I joined Benzinga, I was an individual trader doing things on my own. Uh, quite honestly, I'm not afraid to say it. I have no damn clue what I was doing. But Ultimately, you know, being able to work here alongside with Mark using Benzinga Pro, I have been able to basically um, step up my game, right? So when I mean step up my game, I mean, you know, Mark has basically taught me a lot of things. So I want you guys to learn exactly what I learned because ultimately I don't want you to make the mistakes that I made. I don't want you to chase stocks. Everything that I'm telling you is coming from experience, from learning from Mark. And ultimately, if you are new, this is for you. Don't make the mistakes that I made. Don't blow up your account twice. Who knows if you're going to be able to access the markets again. So, you know, I just want to leave you guys with that, that it has helped me uh, improve my trading. And I'm very thankful to Benzinga. I'm very thankful uh, to Benzinga Pro, to all the coders, to all of the writers that we have, to everybody that makes the dream possible. We even have a, a laptop department, guys. Like we are for real. OK, so um Anything else that we can do, guys, let us know. Ultimately, this education course came out of feedback, right? You guys asked for it, and we delivered. And it's pretty much made with you in mind. So um, that's all I got for now, Neil. It's been great being here, uh, you know, being able to talk with, with, the, with the guys and, and gals. And uh, I hope you had a great time here. I know I did. I don't know if Neil has any uh, closing uh, remarks there. Buy stocks. But learn how to do it before you do it. All right. There you go. Um, so guys, thanks, thanks for tuning in and have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. I hope that uh, you've got your tickers down from this session with Mark and that you're ready for Monday. Because if not, you're just not ready. Um, so we'll see you at the next live stream of some sort that we do. Hopefully, we'll see you inside Benzinga Trading School. So signing out, guys.